Did it work? I hopefully did it. It Let's came up live. Did it? It did for me. It did. So maybe I finally got the work, the way of doing this countdown thing. Well, it's up to thirty-three seconds now, so you must have. Right. Okay. Well, we're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. That's my first time in about how many shots? About twenty shots to get live. So I need now to get started. Is it at, at, at phone? Exactly. It, it, I, I, I couldn't have said it about myself. All right. And so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to go through the comments as best we can. We're going to try and get them all done in about three hours and just see what comes up and just have a chit chat. And we haven't got any plans to talk about anything. Just see what comes up in there. And like I put on here, which I'll, I'll put in the course, I've done that. The banners. Nasties. And it's nasties. So we'll get everything that we can. I'm not going to say we can answer them all, but we'll, we'll give it the best shot and just see, like I say, how it goes. And so if you uh, ask, what do you think or what are your thoughts on the next Marvel trailer, you will be hung, drawn and quartered. Don't care. Yeah, not. Imagine if Marvel <laughs> made a video nasty. Could happen. Jesus. <laughs> no. With Spider-Man in, I spit on your web. <laughs> That's it. Um, Rock God 2004, you heard of him? I, I, I've heard he's gorgeous, but I don't know him personally. Right, yes, yes, I've heard that myself, actually. I bet he's right, oh, Tuppence Magnus. Chickster, good evening, Chickster. Good evening, good evening sir. Good evening, Chickster. We've got a question here from Wolfie's Den. Wolfie said, for Nigel, if oh. there was a so-called video nasty list today, not that I would want to ban a film, what films would be in it, e.g. a Serbian film? I've seen I've seen well, this year today, but yeah, a Serbian film would definitely be there. Yeah, it would wouldn't it? Um, I could not sit through it, but I reckon Irreversible would be on it. Terry Fire One and Two would definitely be on it without any shadow of a doubt. Massively, massively. I saw the Devil would definitely be on it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of ones I've seen at the cinema lately as well. Oh. That that uh, Thanksgiving, I reckon that would probably be on it as well. Really? Yeah, it's quite gory. That. No, oh, have you not seen it? No, I haven't. Oh man, I think you're going to really enjoy it. You're going to love it. You need to see it. Well, I will. I will definitely. I'm sometimes a bit behind on uh, new movies. You know, is it like a brand new movie? It is. Yeah, but it's yeah. a couple of things that people said to me before I saw it was. It kind of reminds you of my bloody Valentine. Right. I didn't get that, but I get what they mean. I think it was filmed in Canada as well, but it's it it is a it's a slasher. Yeah. Um what it, I really enjoyed it. I had a blast with it. You are gonna love it, I think. Oh well, yeah. So I, think, I think that's definitely a few that would definitely be on. Can you think of any, John, that would get on today? What about I'll tell you what I watched the other day fully, because I watched the start of it and I finished it off the other day. Infinity Pool, that's that would struggle. Would yes, it? yeah, yeah. I think that would definitely the... be on it as well. I never thought of that because it's not just the gore; it's the actual uh, sort of some of the um, shall we say intimate scenes as well that are a little bit near the knuckle, aren't they? Well, you know that um, the what was I going to say? The the UK Blu-ray is fully uncut. You know? Did you know that? No, I thought we were talking. We were talking, and you said it was cut in the UK. Well, apparently, it's mm. not cut in the UK. It's cut. The US got it uncut first, and it was a cut one. They've got it yeah. uncut now, but we always had it uncut on Blu ray. I well, Blu -ray. Is, that. well that'll please everybody then. Yeah, so that's why I, I got the American Steelbook because of that reason. But I tell you what, the Steelbook's really smart. Like, I don't get loads and loads of Steelbooks, yeah. but that is smart, that one. Do you think it's a movie that, because uh, I was watching it, and even though I, I enjoyed it, it's not a movie you can watch every week, is it? It's, no, it's rewatchable, it's but not every, yeah. not, it's not as watchable as the stuff that, like, I don't know, Tenebrae, Friday the 13th, or anything like that. They're far more rewatchable, but yeah, I see what you mean. It is, it is very yeah. heavy. It's very gory as well. So, yeah, 
that that's a good pick that one yeah i think that definitely would be on today's be. list there's also another movie that i've got which i didn't like actually uh you know pleasure it's a movie title and i got it because it said it was extreme and a mean extreme now it takes it's the um the area goes to this girl comes from sweden or something and she wants to be the biggest you know adult star going that's what her goal is so she goes into these um auditions and she says i'll do anything apart from one thing so they say you're going to have to do the one th- i'm going to have to make this you know going to have to read between lines if you do this one thing is it something to do with back doors it is yes that's right i thought so yeah now, yes so she says well i'm not going to do that but she went she goes to this place where they do this extreme the fill this bloke says it's an extreme film that we're going to make and i'll tell you what they and it looks 100 percent real they are giving her slapping i mean brutality and i would and it, actually she looks as if she's really getting hit so and i watched it i watched it up to that point i thought i can't watch any more of this so i just put it back on the shelf i haven't watched it since it turned my stomach if i'm honest and i and I, so for me i thought when i was watching it it was extreme explicit but i thought fair enough but this level of brutality i thought i wasn't expecting that and that What's i'm it really called? surprised i've got into the uh pleasure it's called yeah it sounds like that would be on the list i'll tell you what i reckon would be on the list not not because of particular gore i think it would be on the list but higher up than the texas chainsaw massacre but for similar reasons you know you couldn't cut it it's just the all that utter feeling of like just this it's just the way that for me it's like it's like unforbidden dread to, uh, un for something or other not unforbidden un what's the word dread this foreboding, foreboding. I think I'm looking for it. feeling of dread yeah eden lake yeah. oh yeah i heard a lot of things i, I want to watch it but i've never never seen it never bumped into it yet oh my god it's it it's far too realistic that's the problem but you know the little lad out with this is england the little skinhead lad no i he's in it thomas turngus that's him yeah. he's in it Rock, don't get me wrong it's a cracking film it really is but the chavs are yeah. too much is it right. michael fassbender as well is that who's in it really doesn't seem like his type of movie oh, it's brutal man honestly it really is a great question that by the way it is but serbian film would definitely not get in today at all i'm surprised that even got through is it uncut in the UK or not? Not that I'm going to buy it. I don't, I don't think so. No, I, I don't think so either. If if no, anybody I'm wants to get it, I don't have it. But if you want to see it, I think the unearthed films release is the uncut one to get. Yeah. And you got bizarrely it. enough, it comes with a slip. I don't have it, no. Would you get it? I, or are you not going to? I've ummed and ahed about it a few times. Um yeah, I mean, you get these people saying, if you want that or you want to watch that, you're sick. Why? I'm not doing it. I know it's only acting. If it was real, I'd be sick. It oh, disturbs yeah. the hell out of you, but that's what it's supposed to do. Um, but again, it's not rewatchable regularly at all. Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. Well, I saw it until I realised what was going on and I just turned it off. I haven't watched the full thing and I wouldn't never. It's not, it's too there's an area where you just don't go and they went there and they probably went further than I even thought they were going to do but it's not something I want to read I would never watch it again if I bought it I'm so glad it's not the video nasty list because I'd have to buy it yeah but I exactly want it the it's not something I feel comfortable with and there's not many movies that do that to me if I'm honest there's too many other things way 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 ahead of it it's 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 not of, of great importance to me so I'll probably end up never getting it to be honest there's, there's far too much. I mean, I'd rather have my little crappy video nasties any day as bad as they are. Well, you can, you, I mean, you're probably of the same uh, mindset. You could literally pick up, go in there blind, pick up a, a stash of the movies from the video nasties if you've got them in one section, pick them out, and you could watch them back to back and not think, oh, I can't be bothered with that one. You could easily just plow it every time. I mean, if when you do, when you do like, uh, 
talking about video nasties and you're, and you're showing them up on videos, do you obviously think, I just want to watch these now after I yeah. make this video? Yeah, me too. Yeah. I've just got four there. I think I, I showed you them before we started. I've just done a video of it, actually. And I'm yeah. pretty sure when I say in the video, I can't wait to get into these. I've not seen, there's four of them there, and I haven't seen a single one of them. I am dying to watch them. They're all oh. section three, so if anybody's like a a total, you know, what's the word? Like, uh, not completist. It's like, um, they're so anal about it. They're like, it's only section one. There are real nasties. Oh, yes, they, they might get section two at an extreme push, but they won't even entertain section three. Yeah. So if you're one of those, you're not going to want these anyway, because all four of them are section three, where, whereas it started wanting section one, I think both of us have decided that we want the lot, don't we? <laughs> Yeah, oh, yes, definitely want to get want to get the whole lot because why not? You know, it's a bit of a challenge. It's a challenge. It's good, and actually, all the section three ones I watch have all been watchable. It's not as if they're like rubbish films, and you think, no, I, I wish I hadn't went there. Everyone I've seen have been good, and yeah, they're all low budget and, and trash cinema, but they've got their rewatchability that a lot of big movies don't have. But then again, they have some big studio ones on it. You wouldn't even expect to be on there. You go, no way was that on the list. You like. Believe it or not, yeah, it was. Yeah, I know. And some of the, the ones big... that you think were on there weren't. The Exorcist being a prime, a prime example, that wasn't on there. Yeah. But I've I've been doing a, a, a film the day, but I haven't put it out yet. It's about Section 2 video and I've done a video on that. And there's one movie on there that I was talking about, and I thought, this deserves to be right up in Section 1, and I can't believe it's not in there. I'll not tell you it is. You'll see it on the video, but... You, you, I bet it's one of the ones yes, that I'm you're... thinking as well. I bet it's a cannibal one. It's not actually. It's it's uh, not one of them. But uh, there is a cannibal one on there. But the one I'm thinking of was probably the nastiest one on that. Um, I think on that list, section two lists, which should oh. have been. Uh, uh, and you've talked about it before, but uh, I'll not I'll not spoil it for everybody. <laughs> Do I or yourself or both of us have it? What's that, sorry? Do either I or you or both of us have it? Oh, we both got it, yeah. Definitely. We've got it. Oh, can't what it is. And you, you you like it, 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 it. You'll know as soon as you see it. Before I even see it, if I pull up, like, at number seven is this, you'll go, that's the one he's going to see. Have you just posted oh. that today? No, no, it's, it's uh, I've just made it today, but I haven't cut it up and put it up. Ah, because uh, I, I was going to say, I, I was looking for something to eat when I had my dinner, and I went to your channel, I thought... He hasn't done one yet. No, so I, I thought I missed him. Work, but I was, I was talking to my neighbour for uh, for forty minutes, so that's why I'm wearing my hat because I'm freezing. I'm trying to get me uh, air. I'm boiling. That's why I'm not thing. wearing my hat. I can't believe you're so hot over there. So there's um, there's Mikey. Hi everybody. Hi Mikey. Hello Mikey, mate. How are you diddling, bud? There's Andy. All right, Andy. Andy, you big handsome brute. He looks like James Arthur in uh, these. Couple of videos that we've had. Done. No chats. I've, got right, a, Mark. I've, I've got a question for Andy if he wants to put the answer. Have you watched True Lies? Do you know what the transfer is like by any chance? I was I was in the Merrill Centre the other day, right? And I was talking to, you know, Steve Monkey Mason, who works there, the lad we were talking to when we were last in. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I was just talking about this and that and just chit chat and whatever. And he says, um, he said 4K, I was just talking about movies in general, and he says 4K is starting to make a bit of a big resurgence in his, in his shop. I went, really? I says, because every time you look at these videos, they say 4K is on his downward slope. He says, oh, far from it. So he heard it from the horse's mouth there, but he said that true lies, when he's got it on the shelves, he's having difficulty restocking it. He says, you're putting a five on it. just flying out. All right, so it's it's a big seller. Even and though this it's is what we big, want. The best one. Oh, yes, definitely. I mean... It's probably not the best one, but it's the best we're going to get. So there is that. The thing I've just said to Andy there is a little bit of a joke, but I've got it. Um, I got the American one. I think it looks fantastic. I don't. I don't get what people are moaning about. However, that's yeah. not a nasty. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's not try and encourage people to go on to Marvel. I was going to say it. You're the one who's brought the rule immediately. I was Come on. I was only saying it to Andy. What's the transfer like? So there's Paul. All right, Paul. Good evening. Good evening, Squire. 
And what have you done? Has it started? Yes, it has. I'll yes, yes it has. I bet the count. Does anyone know if the count has worked? Uh, Cy Robson, evening chaps, evening Cy. Hi, Cy. And Cy says, not really um, nasty related, but we'll sort of talk about the fact that because we're both really excited for Maxine. Have you seen the Maxine trailer? I haven't seen it. I've seen something about it, but not the new one if it's come out. I got it sent to me today in a message. I watched it. I was like, oh, I was so excited. It looks amazing. It really does. I know. I've got this. <clears throat> the, the, well, they can't make a hash of it after getting two amazing movies out. This trilogy has got to be the real deal for me without seeing it. From the trailer I saw, it mentions. Um, I think it's a true life serial killer. And I get the impression he's stalking Maxine in it. There's other stuff in it as well. That's just, that was just a small part where I saw it looks like such a full story. I can't wait. This has the potential to be the best of the three of them from that trailer. That'd be great. So I was, at this point, what do you prefer, X or Pearl? Pearl. Yeah, me too. I like X. I love X. Yeah. But how the hell she didn't get an Oscar for Pearl, I will never know because she was absolutely amazing in that film. No, she was. She was. She was she was quite surprisingly good. I mean, she was quite good in Infinity Pool, not that she was in it that much, with a very posh English accent, which is quite yeah. throws you a bit. But her character was really good in uh, Infinity Pool. Yeah. But no, she's um she's definitely what I would call someone to watch i think and as well she's going down the sort of cult area which is great we need we need i think she's one of the best that. female actresses out there if not yeah. the best yeah i agree she seems she's absolutely she fantastic yeah yes. i was just gonna say she can turn around to anything <clears throat> which is great so we've got rock and roll hell all right mate good evening bud we've got james jim jam movies and tv all right, James. Hello, mate. We've got Synth John. Evening, John and Nige. Evening to everybody in the chat. Evening. All right, bud. The Last Dragon. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, sir. Synth John. It's a video nasty. It's a carpet It's a party. carpet farty. <laughs> That's great. Oh, God, I miss Rick Mail. I really do. I love that episode as well. <laughs> It's it's uh, it's. I was thinking about this the other day. Weirdly enough, about the fact that Rick Mayall was just everywhere and everything he did was great, and just now he's just he's not he's gone. It's it's quite yeah. bizarre, really. You think it's one of those people who you think would never die because they're so larger than life. I was lucky enough to see him do his stand up in 1984. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was the young ones was he was famous. The young ones was on. Uh, ben Elton came on and did his. And then Rick Mail came on afterwards and did his. And then I've also saw um, the bottom tour live as well. I was on the second one, the big number two tour. Absolutely outstanding. Amazing. I was in pain. My stomach and my cheeks from laughing. I was in agony. I thought, I'm going to have a seizure and be stuck like that. So funny. One of a kind, though. Absolutely. Really one of a kind. You know, fellas will be well. Maxine Trail looks awesome. Yeah, we just talked about that. I can't do it. Stream. I'm going to watch it definitely. We've got Sammy Sammy J in the house. Right, Hello, Sam. bud. How you doing, mate? He's a good lad. Is Sammy J? He is, isn't he? He's a genuine. I mean, we've met him quite a few times, haven't we? And uh, he's a good lad, though, isn't he? So genuine. Yeah, Very he is. Genuine, actually. Yeah, out of gold, he's got as well. He he has. No, he's a nice kid. Really nice. He knows his stuff as well, doesn't he? He's he does. Good, he's got a good... So Because when you have a chat with him over the coffee for about five hours, when we sit there, and those think them tight gets sitting there with a cup of coffee for hours with that, on that table. But, yeah, we got uh, it. On our reserve table, do you know, we are table. <laughs> Actually, what they've done in, in the reserve table, we were there and we went to the metal centre, they put a box, you know where we sit? They put a box next to a pipe next to it, so it's hard to get into that bit. And I'm thinking, you've got to get rid of that box. I don't know what they put in there. It's a big, stupid cube. 
I don't know. It's probably the kit for us to do our Hollywood amp prints on, so they know it's our table. Actually, I think that's right. We'll just do that, won't we? Just put definitely our on it and get thrown out. Yes. <laughs> so Rock and Roll Hell said, "Watch the film called Terror by Norman Warren the other night." What a great little slasher that was. That's section three, isn't it? It is. Um, I ordered that with another one from HMV weeks ago. The other one turned up. They're having trouble getting the other one, Terror. So I'm still waiting for it. But it's on the proper powerhouse thing still there. So I don't know why HMV haven't got it in yet. I'm sick of waiting for it. Mm. It's in the sale, actually. But I've got it, actually. I got it uh, gifted to me the DVD, so DVD is quite good quality as well. I'm gonna, I'm def. I've got. I was gonna watch one the other day, but I didn't get round with. I watched there. Uh, I watched someone else instead. I watched Slumber Party One and Two. Have you ever seen them before? Yeah, I've got them. What do you think of them? Because one's a great slasher, and two's like a really weird comedy. Weird, yeah. So weird. I enjoyed it, but it's not as good as the first. Same with three. I think, if I remember rightly, it was three better than two. But a lot of people don't like three. Um, I, I got that three. that really. Um, everybody says it's like really hard to get, and they like, charge like seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred quid for the one with one and uh, sorry, the one with two and three on the Screen Factory one. All right, I've got that. Mm. I'll be honest, I did pay a canny bit for it, but I didn't pay like 80, 90 quid. I think I, I, think I paid about 60, so like 30 pound a film. That's how I had to look at it. Is that the 4Ks? No, you can't get the third one on 4K. Just, I just got them all on Blu-ray. They're good enough for me. All right. But I'll tell you what, the, se the second one on 4K is unreal. It's one of the is best it? 4Ks I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe what I was looking at. It's is that so that's the... Is that the drill or chainsaw? It, he's got a like, grease back air, hasn't he, in that one? He's got a gun with a drill on the end of it. No, he's got a guitar. A guitar. That's yes. What, yeah, that is, that's bizarre. And the songs he's singing when he's got the, this thing, actually, it's quite gory. And when he go on an internet movie database, it does say that it was denied a, a release or something. Or it's, it's un... Oh. Hello. Are Hello. You there? Where you being? Yes. Welcome to the chat. Uh, so I saw that it said it would had rejected on it, like for the certification. And I, I, I don't think it's a nasty at all, but it, I thought that's a bit odd. That's it's right. quite gory in places. So Mac Chat says, I've noticed some inconsistencies with the section three. For years, I've been working off the Alan Bryce book. The films like Mr. No Legs, Astro Zombies, and The Corpse Grinders are in his book, but nowhere else. Now, I know a lot of people have talked about this, I think, on some of our previous streams about Mr. No Legs. I've seen Astro Zombies. I think I've got it somewhere. And, and I obviously, I always thought the Corpse Grinders was on the video nasty list, and it's not. Well, according to the, the list I've got, which is off that um, the, the Bible DVD we've got. But I do hear some people saying some things are omitted. So I think Section 3 list is a bit grey. It, it's not, do you find it that it's, it, you're hearing some titles are and some titles aren't? I've never heard of Mr. No Legs. Well, I hadn't heard Astro, of it until I was Astro Zombie about. Towns, I don't know, very, very That's vague. 68, Astro Zombies. It's what, sorry? 1968, Astro Zombies. Never. Yeah. Good film, actually. But I've heard of the corpse grinders, and that's making me think: is that actually on the list, but with another title? Because I've definitely heard of that one. Well, the corpse grinders—that's a great movie. I'm liking it to a um, Herschel Gordon Lewis. I actually thought it was a Herschel Gordon Lewis. It's not like it's got that flavour. Wow! It's just these people who grind corpses up. You know that what they do is I think they went at um, a sort of. Uh, what's it called a funeral parlor i believe and they just put the bodies in there just grind them up i think that's it definitely is a big box where they put these people into the corpses that's what i've I remember. definitely heard of that really bad quality um thing corpse grinders on my list here uh, it's not in a list under corpse grinders don't know what it would, what else it could be but um 
It's a good movie, actually. I haven't got it what I like, but I, I do think that I've heard a few people say about the movie, like they'll say Suspiria is not on Section 3, but it is. It is. But people are convinced it's not. It is. You know, and, but it is. And other movies like Mr. Lowlegs, I've heard a few people talk about that, saying it definitely was on there, but maybe these no. lists do fluctuate. Well, let me, I don't know. I mean, the one that's on those um, documentaries that we've got, do match up with the full list that's on Wikipedia, um, yeah. and any other list that I've seen. That's like Mr. No Legs. I've never even heard of it. it looks but the movie, other two yeah. are definitely ringing bells. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look into that corpse grind, as you know. It's not. I don't think it's available in a decent version, but I would definitely want to get it myself because I didn't yeah. enjoy the movie that much. And if you just basically think of it at Herschel Gordon Lewis one, and you're halfway there. Well, that's, so that's got me perfect. already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Turn the blue iris. Evening, chaps. Evening, mates. Good evening, Squire. Danny Jukes. All right, Danny. Hi. All right, Danny, mate. Not too bad. Napoleon, 88. Evening, fellas. Over the past few years, we've seen a number Hello, of nasties getting their first uncut release in the UK. What would you predict two movies we might get in the UK this year, section one and two? Section That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good thing. I'll get me a list. What section is it two or three is Dawn of the Mummy? I think it's section three. Uh. Um he doesn't want to know about them because <laughs> I'm I'm yeah. I'm ninety percent certain that that's coming out this year. Dawn of the Mummy. Yeah, so do I. That's section three. Yeah, right. I so so I'm three. sure they're going to come out with treasured films. I'm going to release it. Yes, that's the one. So it's going to have a nice slip box poster and all that type of thing. Yeah, I really hope so. Do you think? Do you th I think the child could come out. It's already out. Oh, is it? But is it? It's not. You can't just get it singly, though, can you? No, you've, it's in that box yeah. there. Aye. right. Because you know, sometimes they'll, they'll put them out separately, but they haven't put the child yeah. out separately, have they? So yeah. Maybe that. That might happen. Hopefully. So it's it's hard to say because um, there's quite a few on here that you think if somebody one or two that could pick quite a few of these up from section yeah. one and two especially section two i don't know where my bloody book is inferno i would love that one but huh, i don't know killer i mean you get that on blu-ray but that that's screaming for a 4k release is that yeah it is i what about this one pranks oh let's see that one come out isn't that a section one? Section two. I've got pranks, um, but it's a US release. Um, it could get a release, release over it. There's nothing bad in it. No, you're right. It's just a... Eyes as well. I actually enjoyed it as well. It's a canny little slasher film. I, don't, I haven't seen it. It's one of the ones I really want to see. Is that the one that takes place in a school? Yeah. yeah, I really enjoyed I really it. It's, it. It's a low budget, but I tell you what, I had a blast with it. Yeah. Um. Oh, I had one there. I did have a section two. Can't think. It's gone. I would love to see. Somebody get the werewolf and the yeti for section one. Yeah, that is the only section one I don't have. I still don't have it. Um, and with it being like a werewolf one as well, I can't see it being that bad. Surely somebody like eighty eight could release that easily. It's, there's nothing in it. To be honest, it's um, it's quite tame. There's a few things in it, but nothing that you would consider to be anything bad in it. It's Paul Nashi. 
Italian or Mexican or something? I think he's Spanish. I can't be that. I was going to say because they could have done it as part of their Italian collection, but maybe not. <laughs> well, I think that it seems like Paul Nashi films come out in the US all the time, but we never seem to get hardly any coming out here. The only two I've seen that have come out in here have been by Arrow. Now, that means that I think that Arrow may be the one who go for a Paul Nashi box set, which would be brilliant over here because we need something because he's made hundreds of films. You know, if he, even he put the whole werewolf. 13 movies in one box that'd be brilliant yeah but it, we do need to see more paul nashi in this in these because he's, he's all over the place I, in I, america i think they must have a following for him over there but they don't over here i mean i'd never heard of him before until yeah i came across this werewolf and the yeti and then even when uh screen factor released that paul nashi box and i was like who the hell is paul nashi i just never bothered and then one day I looked, I was like, oh, Jesus, it's well up in the Yeti. Um, and there's another one on the first box as well, did you know? Yes. Uh, broken Doll. Blue Eyes and the Broken Doll, yeah. That's, yeah. On, that's on the first box. I know I didn't want to get another box, but I think I'm just hoping that's going to come out separately because it'd be going to be a, a big box to buy by the fact that I know it's the same with Well and the Yeti, but I. I do like his movies, but it's a big ticket to pay for one movie predominantly. Now, the, the Blue Eyes of the Broken Doll, I'm pretty sure that did get a DVD release over here, but it's cut. Oh, right. And what I didn't realise, I'll give you one guess what the reason for it being cut is. What? Animal cruelty. Oh, really? Is it? I wouldn't have thought that would be I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. I know it's a giallo. Um, that's I mean, I that's sold straight away, that, that where that is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, um, <clears throat> it's a bit of a shame, that, but then again, but then again, I was thinking about this the other day. It's um, a cannibal apocalypse, was animal cruelty. It was a, a rat in a cellar. Yeah. Exactly. Now, the thing I was thinking about uh, Cannibal Apocalypse was the fact is that you know what stuff they've let through on Cannibal Holocaust, which is awful, but they've got that one second of a rat on fire in the sewer and they cut it. Now, to me, yeah. I think they could bring that out easily, put the rat scene back in it. Easily. It. Yeah. If they show up what all the other ones were like, you know, it was just the two. They've just done the same with the bloody abyss. Because there's an animal held underwater. I've never seen it, but like, it doesn't die. Yeah, it's under it's, stress, but at least it, li it lives. But they cut that and release Cannibal Holocaust. It, it, I don't get it. I don't know what they're thinking. Well, they could do a seamless branch with that one. They could have it in with a little couple of seconds with it, the rat or the mouse or whatever it is. And then I could just put it, if you wanted to watch it without it, you could, or with it, you could. You can either watch you know, yeah, the, the 18 or the 15 version or the unrated one. It's entirely up to you. Yeah, of course. That's that's. But I, actually, I don't agree with much that Cameron does, but the fact he says I'm not going to cut my movie at all, I'm not going to release it, uh, I think that's sort of commendable. The so do I. He's not going to do that. Yeah. yeah the I'm thing is, you can just, just get it from abroad. It's, it's, it's yeah. the British who are suffering. They're the ones who are going to lose out the money. Because you can still buy it from America. Yeah, of course. It's daft as if the, if we're going to say, oh, we can't ever watch it again, but we're all right with that. We'll just say, I'll oh, just, just click the button, you'll have it in a two weeks' time. Yeah. Exactly. Easy done. Yeah. Um, so, Carl says, uh, even gents, glad to be around so many nasty people. Yeah, it's good, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah, good, isn't it? So, uh, Jim Jam says, John, I must say, Scala was out of this world. That Scala documentary night is just unbelievable. To think that this is, uh, to quickly touch on it, this cinema where they used to show everything and anything, all totally uncensored, was crazy. And it, wow. The stuff, uh, the stuff they're putting on there, they'll put Plink Flamingo was on. They had this movie on called Thunderstruck. 
Now, I thought, never heard of it. And when I went on and looked at what was in it, I couldn't believe what the, the stuff is in this movie, this Thunderstruck. And uh, it's it's all in it. It's, they used to show the whole thing. And I thought, anything that they wanted to, they put on here, Clockwork Orange, the whole thing. It was just, this is when the Clockwork Orange was, you weren't allowed to show it in the UK. Toy that on. So it's a great documentary. You can't recommend it highly enough. So fascinating, actually. Wow. But it's a it's a great documentary, <clears throat> BFI, absolutely brilliant. So Marcus says, evening chaps, first time tuning in to you guys in the live one. All right, Marcus, great Excellent. to be here. And looking forward to the next couple of hours. Did you see Marcus's video, Nige? Did he put on? Is he the one who's mentioned me when when he was on his his guitar bits, the pickups? I don't know about pickups, but he was talking about the fact of uh, we're doing the video nasty stuff, and he's just started to get a full collection. He wants he wants to do it, and he's just started. Ah, right. Yeah, I think it is. Has got a beard? Yes. Uh, yes, it is him. Yeah, and he. Uh, yeah, it is him. I haven't watched uh, many of his stuff, but I watched that video, and it, it, honestly, he was like, uh, you know, just so like he was happy to be collecting the, the video nasties. It's great to think that somebody's maybe so because actually i was going to say he watched all of our our video nasty live streams back to back the whole lot not wow all, but you know over the space of a week so that's dedication wow. me, isn't that, it? that's excellent doing actually there's a, a marvel question here marvel captain ferox i'd watch it yeah i wouldn't i was just going to say to you how how is your ferox Ari? <laughs> a little bit sore at the minute, but you know, how was yours? Well, I twisted it the other day, and uh, it's not right. It's not been right ever since. But I need a good popping. I hope, <laughs> yeah, I hope it's just going to work itself free. But uh, what can you do? There's no worse than a twisted ferox. I'll tell you about it. Tell us about it. So, looks films unboxing says, "What's the worst?" Video nasty you have seen. So I leave that by worst. You mean the toilets? Hopefully not the not one of twenty visits. But back in a second. <laughs> right, I'm going to have to try and give you two answers here because by worst video nasty, do you mean the worst film as in crap, or do you mean worst as in the most disturbing? So I'll give you one of each. For me personally, the most disturbing one, like the most upsetting one, uh, definitely so far that I've seen is Cannibal Holocaust. Um, I can't stress to you enough how, how bad the animal cruelly is in that. It's awful. And a lot of people say oh, the first animal death, which is usually the one that's cut, is the worst. It's not. And it's a little animal and it's a muskrat and people go it's not a muskrat it's a summer to if you listen on the film when he holds it up he actually says the word muskrat so all you know alls are wrong that's not the worst it's a huge turtle so the most disturbing one for me is cannibal holocaust the worst film if you're looking at it from an angle of the film is absolute garbage for me um it might be snuff. If it's not snuff, it could be Frozen Scream because both of them are pretty bad. <laughs> what about you, John? I, I, I don't know by worst. I don't know if you mean worst crap film or worst as in disturbing. So I'll give one of each. My first one was Cannibal Holocaust for disturbing. And then the worst film, like it's, it's going to either be um, the two I've just said, snuff. Or uh, frozen screen. Well, I'll, I'll do the, the same as yourself. I'll do the two. Um, I would have to say probably, although it's kind of like a, a standard answer, Cannibal Holocaust is probably going to be. If you showed them all to people, just a normal person would say, I think they would struggle the most with Cannibal Holocaust because of just what's in it. It's it's a great film, but my God, it goes it goes too far. So I could understand anybody being absolutely 
totally and utterly disgusted with it. So yeah. I'm going to say it's, and I do, I do obviously think I was going about the last uh, Gestapo's last orgy that dinner scene. I don't like that at all. Uh, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say Cannibal Holocaust is much worse. So I'm going to have to put that at number one. And uh, the the worst, well, it's funny, you know, because I quite enjoy most of these movies, if I'm honest. I'm trying to think of one that I just didn't get that much out of. Um, I can't Have you actually watched that. Snuff yet? Oh, I've watched Snuff. I, I don't, well, it's funny. I don't really enjoy it, but I kind of do for the fact of just what it is. It's so it's stupid that they could do that with a movie, tuck a fresh it, end it on it, yeah. put it off as a Snuff movie. But that main chunk of the film, don't you think it feels like they've just made it up as they've gone along? I don't know, it's, it's, got, it's got no story. It's just... The acting really as well is terrible. I know. <laughs> the same people get well. shot and go like, oh, Jesus, man. You know, the, you know the bit when he's got this, the woman, when he's got that uh, knife between the toes and just going... Yeah. Ooh. And you're thinking, you would be <laughs> squinch though. And he's going, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's, she's yeah. going, oh, isn't she, though? Yeah. I must admit, that was that bit that got me the most. I was like, oh, the thought of the knife between the two. That was the worst bit for me. Yeah. The yeah, ending was a joke. Film. I know, the end. The ending's probably the best bit in it, even though it's the worst bit in it, if you know what I mean. It's because it's so stupid to think that anybody thought that was real. Orange Obviously. tomato soup for blood. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just uh, it shows you probably how naive people were back in the day. We're not not like so us lot, because we well you thought it was going to be real and you didn't want yeah. to watch it. But when you got to it, you thought you're having a laugh, aren't you? And the real murder scene at the end, the woman was actually getting killed. Where in mid death, she you can see she's clearly dying to laugh. Yeah. I know. You can see it's like she spits blood out and you see her smirk. It's like she's having trouble holding her laughing. I know. So that the... saying that, I was like, this is never supposed to be that realistic bit at the end. But yeah, it was. Yeah, I did the same. And I watched it. I thought, am I going to really struggle with this? And I thought, I can't believe that anybody was sucked into this because it's so laughable. It's not even a good go scene, is it? No. I've seen much worse. I think the best thing about it, for... especially the, the version you've got, is like you say, it's a packaging yeah. that made it look like one. And when you put the disc in, you get no menu, it just plays. I know. And when it finishes, if you don't take it out, it just starts and plays again. Yeah. It's a good setup. Not that anybody want to watch it on a loop. No, no. You're kidding. But it's only about an hour long anyway, isn't it? It's dead short. Oh, God, it feels like three hours to me. Wow, did that drag. Yeah, it's it's... It's utterly baffling, but I, I quite like it for the fact it was of its its notoriety for that way that it sold itself. I mean, it, it did. It was one of the movies that you, you had to see for the, yeah. just for the title and the idea behind it. But no, the trailer is better than the movie. Yeah, it is. The thing is, though, I've no. I think with these, with with this goes for all the video nasty titles for me, and I don't know whether it's the fact that it is a video nasty that does it but even the ones that i go my god what a pile of bilge i will still go back and watch them again mm -hmm. look anthropophagus oh, yeah. i've gone from absolutely hating that yeah to now i actually really like it weird i don't get enough of it yeah but i'm, I'm going to say there's a movie on there that i do think and it might be better on a rewatch but when i watched it i only watched it once and i didn't really it's not that i didn't care for it i just thought why Killer Nun, it was all right, but I was expecting it to be nun exploitation to be really over the top and having things on that were like ultra sacrilegious and that. There was just nothing in it for me. I, I was quite surprised that just was a thing. So are you going to get the Blu-ray of that one? Because it's coming out on Blu-ray, isn't it? Yeah, and it's got a nice slip as well. I think I probably will, you know. It has. Yeah, it has got a nice slip. Are you thinking of getting it? It would have to be really in a sale. If it come down to about nine quid, yeah, I'll get it. But not the the shameless ones, you know, the Blu-rays, they never come down to sale, especially ones with a slip. 
there's still it's like 17.99 for ages wow occasionally it'll come down to 12.99 for for a day <laughs> so um i was going to say we've got 77 people watching that's a lot oh my god i want to say I want to say thank you for coming along for this it's uh thank you very much and so what we're going to do next one is going to be we're going to go back to the sections and we're going to do section two is it video uh part two coming up i think it is yeah because you were on about doing another 4k one um but i'm not gonna do that another time i'm not bothered whatever you want to do i think we'll probably i'll tell you what we'll do we'll do another 4k one after we've done the section twos right yeah sounds like a plan yeah before we're going to section three is it it's still yeah we're still going to be doing this in another 10 years man aren't we uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> excuse me last dragon says a new film out in h and the joker it's a gore fest have you heard of that one apart from it being the joker no yeah no, I and if it's connected to Batman, that. I'm not interested. Good film, though, that one. Actually, I think you like it. It's nothing like a Batman film, put that way. But is it connected? Yes, but in a way... Nah, I don't know. I think, I think you could get away with this one. It's not a superhero movie. I am not having any it's Batman not. character crossing over with horror. I'm sorry, it's not happening. I just don't, don't care. I know you don't, but I'm not saying you should definitely see it, but give it a whirl once. You'd be surprised at this movie. It really is like nothing you've seen in a, in a Marvel movie. Just spin it out for you. Does it take place in Gotham by any chance? Yeah, but you don't really see Gotham. I'm not I'll stick with the Adam West telly series, thanks. Yeah, I do like that one. But Joker is a good movie. It really is. I've got to say, it's quite brutal as well. Much more than uh, any other Batman movie. Wouldn't take much. So Sammy G says, it's been indicated what your thoughts on terror and in Seminoid. Well, we talked about terror. Oh, so what, what's your thoughts about terror. on Seminoid? That's the other one I got. I got I got in Seminoid and oh. Terror together. Um, I haven't watched it yet, but I've heard it's weird. I watched it youngs ago and i didn't like it so i've had a lot of people say it's it garbage actually well i've i've got it and i will watch it now it could be one of those ones where i couldn't stand it first time around don't know why i didn't like it. i just didn't like it i got on vhs out the video lady for a great cover and i thought is that it but thing you know, fresh the guy who up. made it is the same one who made that one with the green cover pray norman something Warren, Norman J. Warren. Was it him? Possibly him. Well, he made terror as well. Well, have you seen Prey? No. Jesus. Wow. That's all I'm saying for that one. Okay. Glowing report. Got Andy's cardboard Star Wars. Hey up, lads. Hey up, Andy. Hey up. Gary says martyrs would definitely definitely be banned if it came out in the eighties. Yeah, I totally so I've heard. I've not seen it, but yeah, um, I've heard a lot of people say it's it's a bit gnarly that one. It's. it's I it is. I knew I knew it was here somewhere. Yeah, good cover though. I'm gonna leave that. Oh, I've got this as well. I know it's not a nasty, but I got that. What a pile of bills. Well, uh, have you got a slipper on that one? Yeah. All right. Have you? Um, yeah, I loved it. That movie. Really? Yeah. I know it's a time loop, but it. Yeah. Good. And then right back the end, it's back to where you start. So it's all going to happen again. On oh, no, no. oh, wait, man, go away. It wasn't that good. They want to yeah. see it all happen again. Aye, but a bit more to it than that, isn't it? Ish. Look at their faces on that. 
<laughs> oh god, I've got to watch that. Since John Marvel Nasty, the Red Skull Ripper. Oh, I didn't mention Marvel. He used to jump on the bandwagon. Actually, this is a section I, I really want to see. I've seen the trailer for this and it looks absolutely insane. This movie coming up. And I'm sure it's a section three. Um, really want to get this one. What have you got that on? Printed on posters. They look huge, them sheets. No, it's just an A4. It's what I wrote out. You know, when, I, when I first did these, the first ever stream, I wrote these out. I still got them. <clears throat> collector's items. I did what man's in a book. I've done it. I've put the bugger. I might mean, auction them for a chari charity. So, yes, so this one I'll here. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll both sign them and put them out there for a prize. Hey, why not? There you are. And they are the, they are the, the sort of like got scribbles on them, but it's, it's them if you can read what they say. Original nasty notes. Right. If anybody's going to say who the hell do you think you're at, it, it, I was joking. Is that Deborah? It is. Should see a run you know, through. Yeah, I did. I think I might get Laura to write all man out again because she's good at writing stuff and she likes writing. Yeah. So, so I'll get her to do all man out. Handwriting. Yeah. We'll do that and then we'll notion that one as well. Yes. Um, so Paul says, have you seen Mad Foxes, an insane film? Have you seen it? No, but I'm dying to. It's The trailer looks absolutely mental. You can get it in the States, but DVD only. It's one that I don't have, though. Um, but I would definitely I definitely want to get that one, because it does look crazy, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Um, I've seen the trailer, obviously, on the uh, Video Nasties documentaries uh, discs. And I thought, wow, it looks like it's more of a violent thing than a horror, doesn't it? I yeah, think a bike is in it as well. I think it's crazy action. Yeah. yeah. And it's meant to be really That's camp a, as well. I know I know the majority of, sec, whether it be section one, two or three, the majority, the vast majority are horror. But there is some stuff in there that isn't. Why are you right? No, actually, no, I'm going to look in here because I'm going to trick myself up there. Um On section three is, um, ah, I always thought that the exterminator was a section three, and it's not. It's not on so the list. So did I. Me. It's not even on there. That's crazy. Weird, isn't it? Yeah, because you know when that when that the ban came out, that one was that taken off there. the shelves. You yeah. could not get it. Exactly. So, That's why I always thought it was. And when it came back, it was heavily cut. So... It's one of the ones that wasn't, but it might as well have been. It's fully uncut now, ain't it, on that window box? Ah, yeah. Arrow one. That's it's the one I've got. Yeah. Oh, God, I love that film. Second yeah, one, yeah. I'll really enjoy that as well. It's not as good as the first, but it's still a really good sequel. Yeah, I do. I do like the second one. It's Like I say, it's not as good, but it's it's still watchable, no. like, isn't it? I think that was on 101, that one, wasn't it, the second one? Yeah, it was. Good picture as well. Yeah. The Last Dragon says, do you think the Devil Hunter deserves a 4K release? <laughs> well, John's probably going to say yes, I'm going to say no. Definitely. It's so good. It's so awful. It's great. Again, that's another one I've always like shafted really bad. But the last time I watched it, I actually enjoyed it. I was laughing through a lot of it. Okay. Him with his ping pong balls, and that there's bits where you see him eat the raw flesh, it just looks like tissue paper daubed in red paint. Yeah, doesn't look real at all. Absolutely, but I, I actually did enjoy it last time. I watched it, yeah, that was great. I so finally managed to get the one with the slip, the, the UK one with the slip. Did you? Nice slip, that net. Yeah, I got upset as well with the slip. Did you did you pay um, a lot for that? Are ah, the absurd absurd slips brilliant? No, I got it for 
did I get for about 25 quid okay. not bad and i've seen one not long ago as well was going for about 30 and it was a buy it now which a lot of people might think 30 quid for a blu-ray but what you've got to think is people were charging 100 pound for this thing yeah just for that so slip because it was rare I know. well it's rare you had to be um like a kickstarter didn't you you had to be a like a, a funder yeah. that's how um that's how trev got it because he actually he did didn't he yeah you're right yeah and, and if you watch the titles at the end you see his name he's on there yeah, couldn't it? <clears throat> no i remember that coming out there's a kickstarter campaign when they were first starting out 88 and i thought it was a bit of a at first i thought it was a bit of a joke for them is ask for people to remaster their own films but in a way i think they just didn't have the money to do it so they did it and they, they give people like incentives like i say them slips and all that and then obviously they don't do that anymore because they're a big company but it just shows they're you they were, now, yeah. they, were, they were trying you know just to, to do what they could and uh no it was it's, it'd be good to get your name in the credits i know a lot of people do pay for kickstarter stuff and uh it'd, it'd be great to see your name on the movie tied with the movie yeah. part, I think. Um, I managed to get four all within a week or two of each other. I was really, really lucky. While well, the slips, I got the Devil Hunter, Absurd, and both Anthropophaguses with the slips. Right. You know that you know that nice one you've got with the sunset behind the remastered one. I got that, but then I got that yeah. original one with the video nasty art as well. I think that's probably the harder one to get hold of. I didn't have sold it. Can you? I can't believe I did that. Keep looking, John. I think you'll get it. And um, like I say, I only paid like twenty odd to thirty pounds for them each. I got I got them really, really good when you consider they were going for like nine or hundred pound each. I think when you sold it for fifteen quid, can you believe it? Oh, I know. I do, I well, I, because I got I had about three or four of them, and I thought I'm going to get rid of one of them. I thought I'll put that one on because that'll sell the most. It did, and it was like quite. Uh... Hi, yeah. Oh, the silent wave! Oh, just to give away, you give away. I know you have. I'm just saying that's it's so unusual. I get away. I know. Should be on the stream. I think, I think it was for me actually. Oh, have, a, have a seat. No, she's that's too much. Come and join in the nasty phone. <laughs> I'm talking about your favourite subject, video nasties. Nice, she says. Yes. Well, that's more she's done and uh, uh, any other one. So Wolfie's Den says, thanks for the reply, Australian film The Nightingale was a hard watch. Have you, I've heard about that one. Have you seen that one? No. It's going to be rough. I'm going to say I spit in your grave sort of overtones a bit. Is it a nasty? No, it's not a nasty. It's a new film, but it's meant to be. Oh, well, it would be on the list nowadays then, I bet, by the sounds of it. I think that's what Wolfie was saying. It's gonna He would put it on the list today. So I have heard a lot of people saying it's really, really rough. But I haven't seen it. Uh, rock and roll hell. I got Night the Hunter and Cold Eyes of Fear from the Indicator sale. Good movies. Cold, Eye, Cold, Cold Eyes is a blind buy, but Hunted is a great film. Highly recommended for John Roland films. Yes, I've got them both. Um, look nice on 4K. I've got that really hard box as well. And it, it's uh, one of the best presentations, I think, of doing this, you know, a slip, a slip box, not a slip case. Yeah. Very nice. 24 quid. Night of the Hunter. That's not the black and white one with Robert Mitchum. No, no. It's from 1980. It's, uh, oh. it's you know, Jess Franco, who had his yeah. muse slash who doesn't? <laughs> girlfriend. She's in it. I can't remember her name now, but uh, she's in that um, Yoda, oh. I should say. You know, what's he called? Jess Franco. Wasn't she Yoda. quite bonny, his, his, his woman? Yeah, with the blonde hair. The blonde hair. With the blonde heart. No. With the blonde heart and the red head. <laughs> yeah, too. <laughs> she didn't want him for his money at all, did she? Not it was really. all, all. It was all a relationship of lust for his looks. <clears throat> exactly, because he couldn't have. I mean, she was she was quite young as well, and he was like ancient. Paul says Eden Lake is a modern classic. Yes, it is. Absolutely brutal. And John says, I personally think the original Old Boy 
would be on a modern video nasty list. James Furman would not have had a hard time with that film. I've heard bits and pieces. I've seen some of the action scenes with him and his hammer. Have you seen that one, Nigel? No. But it's the same guy who was in I Saw the Devil, isn't it? It's the same actor. I think so, yeah. And he's it's literally, he just fights with a hammer. Yeah. Good movie. Oh, that sounds Good nasty, action. doesn't it? But I think the bit that got me was I haven't seen it for this particular bit. And it is in the movie. It is uh, put into this uh, the uncut arrow version. The fella eats a live octopus. Live eats it. I couldn't think of anything, anything worse to see than that. So it's really put me off. I can't. If I watched it, You'd I'd have to. You'd feel that wiggling it. about in your stomach, wouldn't you? And yes, it, would, it wouldn't stop going, would it? If you, you would. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't no, they cook anything over there? It. No, that, that couldn't happen. I couldn't even think about that. Dirty bar, 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 So Maggie says, this is a good one. Irreversible, yes. And the house that Jack built. And Andy Christ, yes, would struggle back in the 80s massively. Andy Christ is there. Uh... Have you seen that one? No, I have seen the house that Jack built, and I absolutely hated it. I thought it was absolute yeah. garbage. Yeah, I did. I was crap. I'm so glad I didn't splash out and buy the um, screen factor with the slip cover. Right. Um, I there was one. <clears throat> I've got a regular uh, UK one. I think somebody sent me it. I hated it. Really? Oh, God, it was crap. I thought it was great. I really did. It, it was, was so garbage. Brutal. It's brutal, isn't it? I think I don't like that director. It's got to be because of something. Is it Lars von? Yeah, Lars von Trier. Trier, I keep going to call him von Trapp. Hello, goodbye. I'll see you in the... All that crap. That would be a good movie. Can you imagine him doing a version of The Sound of Music? <laughs> I dread to think what he do with it. I have He's seen cool. another one of his and I hated that as well. Mm. I can't think what it is. Well, Antichrist is one of his, and I don't like Antichrist because it's too bleak. It's so bleak, it's just ridiculous. Didn't he do that irreversible as well? I don't know. I don't know about that. He might have done. I saw one scene of that, and that was enough. It was the... Um... What do you call them? Fire extinguisher, I'll just say that. It was yeah, that no, was enough. Is. Fire extinguisher, that was just unreal. It just didn't it look real? Yeah. If if that was real, if that happened in real life, it would look exactly like that. Yeah. And it was just everything about it, though. That that awful ready orange light and that was on. I thought, oh god, I couldn't watch that. Yeah. Is there not something that there's a, a sort of note or some kind of music that plays through yeah. the versible that makes you feel sick or something. Yeah. Apparently it's a it's a very low frequency note that I think you you don't even realise it. And when you're watching the film for some unexplainable reason, as it were, you do start to feel nausea and you, you want to throw up and everything. And it was deliberate. Why, why, why would you do that to your audience? Why would you want to make them feel like that? So what do people do? They go out and buy this great deluxe box set of it. I right. buy a box set of that because it's, it's too... Couldn't buy it. Sh for me to spend sh that. Shocking. It's, it's an absolute pile of bilge. I, I do want to see it just to see what it's all about, but I, I don't really want to own it, if you know what I mean. It doesn't interest me. That one scene was enough, thanks. So MB22 says, I have a Serbian film and cut. It's well made, as, and it's not a cheap film. I have heard that. It's well made. And yeah, the it is. And the baby scene is sick, yeah. But I didn't get that part, but I knew it was going there, and I thought, delete, get rid of that one. It's really well acted as well, you know, but um, I say this all the time, and I don't know if it's just me, but it's so ridiculously overhyped about how bad it is it's not the worst i've seen i cannibal holocaust affected me far worse than that did a serbian film oh, sticks yeah. with you right know, you know you, you sat there for a few hours thinking wow have i just really seen that and that year kind of in your head a little bit when you go to bed but you don't have sleepless nights or anything um 
No, well, yes. Cannibal Holocaust does stay real a lot longer. Stay with the days, yeah. It's just too, well, it's real. It's just too, I can't believe I've been, I've been forced to watch that. You're not forced I mean, to watch it, but you've watched it. Yeah. yeah. The famous scene with the baby in a Serbian film. You can see by looking, when the baby comes into shot, that it's a dummy. It doesn't even look real. It's a puppet. Yeah. It's a puppet! It's one of them. Now, this woman's allegedly supposed to have just given birth. You don't see that happen. But you see them lift it up like that, and then he turns around, and whatever he does with it, you don't see. It's all left to the imagination. It's the thought of it. It's the th yeah, it's a thought. I, I had the thought of it in my head. I didn't know what happened. But I the thought, ending's so grim. I knew what the thought was. I thought, stop. I the ending is really grim. That. I don't have that thought in my head at all. So, but all you gotta keep thinking is it's all make up, make believe, and it's a story they're acting. True, but there's a there's a them, level. Them poor there's animals a... weren't. They had no choice. Oh yeah, I agree. I agree because they're kind of innocent, aren't they? And it's real. It is real. It's their life. Yeah, it's and not... it's not like you're watching a fly getting swatted or a mouse get caught in a trap or anything like that, or a cat catching a mouse like they did in the Argento film. And that got it. Was it was that opera or was that the other one? Wasn't opera, it was opera, it was the other one, wasn't it? We've mentioned Inferno. it tonight. Inferno. I think it's Inferno, yeah? It's, yes, sir. No, it, it, it's not I'm as not easy sure. one as that. We're talking about animals getting ripped apart here. Yeah. In full view. Yeah, you're right. You are right about that. So Max says it, a reverse will be on the list, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Actually, all of Gaspar Noy's films would be in Lars von Trier's Antichrist and Nymphomaniac, yeah. Massively, Jesus, I've seen well, the that was crap. Enough. <laughs> that was that, I didn't realize at the time that's got a very young, um, Mia Goth in it. Yes, I know you would have never thought it, would you? Even when you think about it, you thought, No, was she really in that film? Even when I watched, I think it was X, I, I it never, I, I wasn't like, I've seen her somewhere before, and then when I read what she'd no. been, I was like, Nymphomaniac, I've seen that, I don't remember. I think she's the young lass who, when they've battered somebody, she pees on them. It's her. Oh, it's a nice I don't film, remember yeah. much about that film. I just remember um, watching it and thinking, what have I just watched? As I usually do yeah, with crap. more Lars von Trier's films, I think. I wish I hadn't watched that. I avoid him like the plague. So Gary Darnell said the Serbian film tried way too hard to be different. Uh, offensive. offensive. Sorry. And it, it it just ended up being boring. I did. I must admit, I was kind of not really. I, I didn't think that much of it, even if it hadn't ended the way it was. I wasn't really thinking this is a great film. I thought, mm. yeah. Um, Winslow says purist. That's the word I was looking for. Was it purist? Uh, when I said, if you only want the section one, you're a video nasty purist. That's the word I was looking for. It seems like so long ago. It does. So Paul says, <clears throat> just watched Absurd again recently, and it's becoming my, my favourite nasties yet. I think it's great. It, it is a good one, I must admit. I like that. Do you find, uh, <clears throat> Nige, that, and you've just spoke about this actually before, if you're, when you get a nasty, and you'll think, right, mm. I'm going to put this on. You might have had a, the a, a previous history with it, or you've got an idea of what you're going to think about it, or you check it out. Do you treat your nasties a bit as it, in a different way as you do with normal films? And then you you give them a bit of a free pass to start off with, but do you find that you kind of enjoy them more? Because sometimes you watch a movie and you think, Terminator 2, for instance, you watch it loads at, at the time and you kind of tail off and eventually don't watch it anymore. But with yeah. nasties that just keep on getting that little bit more of the ladder every time you look at them, which is yeah. odd, isn't it? Do yeah. Yeah, I do. Well, uh, Anthropophagus being a, a prime example um, and the, the, the Devil Hunter, I've gone from not being able to bear watching them to I can both stick both of them on tonight again. If I didn't have so much to watch, um, yeah. So yeah, it is. I think I think it's the fact that I don't know whether part of your brain is forcing you to like it because you really know deep down you want to because it's it's those nasties from the eighties 
Mm-hmm. It's got to have something to do with it, but I don't care. I know, I know in my mind that I am genuinely enjoying them and liking them. That's all that matters. Yeah. If my brain's forcing me to, let's carry on. Maybe force, may, force me to like more of them. Um, yeah. But yeah, the, I, I, the, some of the films I've watched, and I've probably thought a normal film, what a pile of crap. But if I watched it for a video on that, I'd probably think, wow, that was a crack of that one. I really enjoyed it. It's weird. <laughs> That's a good point, lad, actually. So you're saying that maybe if Devil Hunter was just a, a film that you just straight across, <clears throat> you got it and it wasn't anything to do with anything, and you put it on, you thought, what's the point? I do agree. Never want to watch maybe, that again. Yeah. Yeah. You would say to yourself, and there's plenty of movies I've seen that aren't anything to do with nasties, and I've checked out where in the past and just thought, garbage. You know, forget about it. I'll never go back to that one. I wouldn't even give it another chance. But these ones, and some of them, like the section three, especially you, you kind of get them for the first time and you're thinking, never know what these movies are, like the ones you just got. And mm. you're kind of excited to watch them. And I am. with your, your nasty brain, don't you, to say it is what it is. It will be probably enjoyable. And you'll probably find yourself after you've watched them, at least one or two of them, you'll think, I want to watch that again straight away. Yeah. Which is crazy, isn't it? It is. It's mental because... You do, right? You are, right? You've got to think, even as you're putting that disc in the tray and you're just sitting down, you're you're getting your mind ready, thinking, right, you've got to think of this as a video nasty and you are going to watch one of the crappiest films ever. Get that in your head. And then anything that's better than crap is a bonus. And then your brain sort of expands that to make you think it was excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you've yeah, definitely got to go in with an open mind with them you, it's no good mm-hmm. thinking oh that was a video that was on the video shelves in the 80s that when i was written out nightmare on elm street it's got to be good if it was out then you can't think like that no you've got to have a lower expectation of most of them and most of them yeah. have got a low i mean what about the ones that we were talking about in the section ones which have got really low in and in, in move the database not that i take too much notes of their rankings at their points. No, don't. And they've got a really bad thing. And we both said, well, we well, loved it. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So, <clears throat> and I think that maybe it is because it's got the video nasty tag on it. I don't imagine any other genre that I feel the same way with it to be so exactly. entertained. Yeah. And I, w- I would rather, someone said to me, what genre do you want to have? And you're going to have one thing on your shelves, nothing else. What you're going to have on your shelves, I'll probably say, put the video nasties on, get rid of the whole lot. Not that I really want to do that. No. But I could, I could live myself with that because I know I'd watch all of those movies time and time again. And the good thing about that as well, if they say video nasties, if you get all three, you can have all three sections. Yeah. You're going to have some, I'm going to have my second favourite film. Um, and I'm also going to have another one of my favourite slashes of all time with the burning. Um, so at least if I say, Yeah, I'll have the slashes, all right, I'll say bye bye to Jaws, but at least I'd still have the burning and Friday the 13th, one and two. Yeah, um, and there's another big film in there which I don't want to say just in case there's anybody who doesn't know it's there because it'll be upcoming. Uh, there is some fantastic films on the list that you wouldn't expect to be there. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> massively. Actually, since John says. I'm very surprised Mark of the Devil wasn't a section one nasty. Yeah, I am actually, because it was it come out right at the time that you would have thought it would have been it's got all the things in it which the, the censors hated. And Isn't that the one with them um, Herbert Lom? I know Odo Kears in it, and the, the bloke who turned out to be the Dracula in Salem's Lot. I yes, yeah, yeah. Red, Reggie Nolder, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is that one. Yeah, he's in it as well. Um, Herbert, Long. Herbert Long. Yeah, he's in it. Oh, oh right. Yeah. I've seen it a long time ago. I liked it. And it was extreme. And yeah, was, I mean, Arrow it, released just, that one. I was shocked. Yeah. I know. I was like, wow. This is when I released to release some quite good. They've seen it tail off, haven't they? Remember when they yeah, put that? Yeah. The, what was it called? Don't Go in the House. Was it that one? Yeah, it was Don't Go in the no. House, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I'm thinking of Don't Go in the House. Yeah, that, what a cracking release that oh, was. Yeah. I thought they're going to have, it's as if they were going to do a bit of a line with them, 
with some good nasties and put like sort of VHS copies on it. And all yeah. That. And that was just the one title. I thought, where's the rest of them? And that virtual going into the cinema and all the coming attraction yeah. posts, and then you sit down and they show you the trailers and that, my God. I think that, I'm not saying the film itself, but that is one of my favourite um, video nasty releases. That, yeah. I think it's absolutely amazing the way they've done it. I totally agree. But it's, for it to be a one-off, it's a bit of a shame. I would love them to do it. It is. Like yeah, it is. It's got... They've got plenty more they can't do. Uh, Gary North, good evening. Good evening, Gary. All right, guys. Ooh, where's the comments gone? Right, I'm there. Uh, I'm all, you know, oh, there we are. You know, it just goes. Whoop. You froze there for a bit. I want to discuss that. It could have been, it could have been. <laughs> Hey, you did that well there. That you didn't move there. It's gonna be nope. the... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, since John, absurd is great. George Eastham is, is scarier than Michael Myers, in my opinion. He's got it. He's, I think it's the size of George Eastman, seven foot. Yeah, he's I, I, presence, I, I do. He? I do get where you're coming from, man. Yeah, he's he's a big bloke and he's very very menacing. Mm -hmm. But for me, I'd have to go with Michael Myers because he's he, you can't see his face. That makes it even scarier for me. But I yeah, I mean, they could have very easily done a series of slashes with him in easily. No, it's a shame he didn't do more. You're right. So Sammy G says, what's your favourite section one video nasty? That's easy for me. It is zombie. And it always will be. Zombie flesh eaters. Mine's the burning. Yeah. Easily. Yeah, it's great, the burning. That gets better. Absolutely with loves. I want that 4K so badly, but I'm I'm scared I don't get the slip now. I'd cry. I know. It's uh the i do want it but it's a case of like do i want to pay the money for it but i'm probably just gonna have to wait i'm just hoping it gets a uk release even though the uk will probably not be as good that uh, the screen factory have done but the thing is have you seen how much the that this is normally now if this was the uncut version this would have been on the list but i've seen how much that sells for usually no. that's the 4k as well yeah 40 45 quid yeah um i just happened to go on amazon lucky one day i went on oh, it was 23 quid that's nice that's good bang price. now they didn't post it for about a week and i don't know where it's because the offer was on and they were waiting to see if anybody bought it full whack fest but they waited till about a week to 10 days before they shipped it but once it shipped it got here quick and i was praying to god please have the slip when I opened it, I was so relieved. And mm. this, wow. The the, the transfer yeah. on this is, wow. It's unreal. I remember you saying it was um, one of the best ones you've ever seen. Plus the fact it that is. they've got the, the uncut scenes practically up to the scratch of the 4K, yeah. which is nuts. And not only that, when you first get the, the first glimpse of the, 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 the road outside where all the shops are, and they've got like all the, the Valentine hearts up outside. It's quite a, a windy, cold looking day, and it's in Canada. But these hearts, they're like, Jesus, pass me the sunglasses. They're that red, <laughs> really yeah. vivid, vivid red. And there's no hardly any grain. And it's not, it's been DNA or nothing like that. It's just ultra clear. And you think, have they just turned the color up there? When somebody walks on, the face is going to be bright orange. No. Nah. The yeah. walk on, oh, the skin is so natural. And then there's that red in the background. I can't, honestly, I can't describe it. Unbelievable. That's, that's amazing. It is. I mean, that's what you want um, from the whole, I don't know, you, you just want it to look, the skins to look perfect, but you want the colours to pop without meaning that the, the people are going to look but like, they're just going like that with the colour. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. So, I mean, anybody could probably do that, but that's not the way you want it to play out there. You want the colour if it's there, but you don't want it to yeah. be false. Yeah. No. Looks amazing. 
So Mark Chat says Casper Noy did a film called Love in 3D. Imagine going to see that with your 3D glasses. I'd have to bring in a sheet of perspex with me. EY. I actually do have the 3D Blu-ray, so I've seen it in 3D. What that movie there, Love. Yeah. It's crap. Um, but you do see a male um crucial moment, shall we say? And when he has his crucial moment, the front of the camera is right there and it's like you're like, whoa! <laughs> The film itself was garbage. I've only ever watched it in the ones. I was like, yeah, I want that again. And it's got a slip. Anybody's uh, interested in a trade or anything? All right. I think I'll pass on that one, funny enough. Um, Warp Art Studio, Tris says, hi, guys. Hope you are both well. Doing well. Hello, miss. All right, Tris. Um, just saying hello to everybody. People are saying, Finley's saying, are you watching the Maxine trailer? Yes. Night has, but I haven't, but I'm really wanting to see her. Looks phenomenal. Can't wait. Steve's down says, hi, hi both, boiled egg and nuts. <laughs> That'll be, that's got to be something to do with Lauren Hardy, isn't it? Remember that? I have no idea. Boiled egg and nuts. Well, in County Hospital, he brings a... Uh, uh, Stan brings Ollie boiled egg and nuts when he's in the hospital with a bad leg. Remember that one? No, but I do have like the Laurel and Addy collection there that I got sent. It's in, it's so, in that one. I did start Come watching, but like then I started watching other stuff. So I will get back to it though. So, do you like Laurel and Hardy? Oh, I love them, absolutely love them. Me and my dad used to watch it when I was a kid. He, God, he used to have his belly laughing. But they're so funny now. There's things they do yeah, that are yeah. funny now that'll never not be funny. So we've got the crap come out with now. Good evening, fellas. Just All right, miss. Work and join. Nice to see you, Carl. St. John says, my favourite section one nasty is zombie flesh is. Nice one. Right. I and don't I, I don't says, get that. It's too slow for me. I like it, but it, to be my favourite now, it's it's it needs a bit more faster pace to it. I just think it's perfect. <clears throat> I I know you I know you're saying, but I don't know, I just like it. I've always liked it. It's one of those ones where it started off being okay and it's just got higher and higher. It passed. Dawn of the Dead was always up there, and it just passed Dawn of the Dead. I was just, just going to say, you like it better than Dawn of the Dead, don't you? I do. I mean, I love Dawn of wow. the Dead. I don't get enough of it, but Zombie Fleshy has never used to be on the top of it. But maybe about 10 years ago, it just sort of went over the top. And uh, I could watch them both easily back to back. But Zombie's just got that little bit more for me. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, I just like it. You know, you just like a movie. Well, you know that video you've asked me to do, and I said, I've, I've got them ready to do it. Yeah. And I said, I've also got another two, but I needed to watch them. I watched one last night. The other one I need to watch is that film. I've not seen oh, it in well. 4K yet, so I don't know what it looks like. Oh. Have you got the 4K? Yeah, somebody sent me it. Wow. Unbelievable. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. It really is. And I think you'll be blown away by it. Might not be your favourite one, but you might get that bit more out of it. You'll see it in a different way, I think. Would you, if you ever get the chance, or if you ever get a spare slip for it, will you let me know? Yes, I will. I've never ever it, seen, no one's sent in one, and no one's, I've never seen a no, spare no, no. anywhere, never mind, you know. But it's it's brilliant. I love it. Yes, it's there. My favorite ones. Yes, I. But yeah, it just slips embossed all over the place. It's brilliant, man. I just got a message of somebody saying, like, oh, I've got the 4K. Would you like it? I'm quite happy with my Blu-ray. I was, I was absolutely blown off. Wow, thank you very much. Well, I, I even got a note man. on tissue paper, look. A tissue paper you note. Might, you might know them. I'll tell you what it is. Um, 
I'll just say it's Gary. There's loads of Garys. I don't know what his username is, if he's got one, but he messaged me first. I was like, wow, the generosity of some people is unbelievable, isn't it? I think I know who you mean. Oh. There is there is a lot of things get said. I know. And it's uh it's a it's a great release. I really hope that our is going to do one though. Version, even though I like the blue underground one, it's really nice. So this is one for you. MB22, can we get your top your two top five video nasties? Top five is in five best from all sections. Oh, that's a good one. Right, so you go first with section one, I'll go second, and we'll do section two, three. Right. Or does he mean five from all three sections combined? Oh. That's how I read it. Yes, I it was. Right, so, yeah, so you've got a, a wide selection there for... <clears throat> right, I'm going to have to go for Friday the 13th, the original. Friday the 13th, part two, The Burning. Um, oh, God. Possibly The Evil Dead. And oh, there's that many, isn't there? I want to put Tenebrae in there. Um. Mm. Wow, thrown at the deep end. I'm going to say Tenebrae. Well, I'm going to go definitely zombie. Um, the Thing. That's one of the yeah. ones I was trying not to mention earlier because the people would go, what? Yes, it's there. <laughs> the Thing, yes. Um, I don't know what, well, definitely zombies first. I'm not I'm going to put the other four in rankings. Um. I'm going to have to cheat and look at my list a little bit here because I can never think. That's what I mean. Stuff. I haven't got anything in front of me. Wow, what I want to get thrown on you like that. Anthropophagus, definitely. No um, way! Yes, it's got to be my top five. It's just that good. I just like it that much. I've always liked it. Wow. You know, liked it from, oh, no, you, you know, have. Really have. Um, I, so the other two I'm going to put on there is going to be the burning because the burning is just incredible. And I've also, got an idea what your last one might be. I'll tell you if I'm wrong. The last one I'm going to pick is going to be, there's, there's loads I could pick here, but it's going to be Fight for Your Life. forgot about that one. Yeah. I thought you were going to say The Cannibal Man, because I know you love that as well. Yeah, Fight for Your Life is definitely up there as well. Yeah. I'm probably going to pick them it's quicker cool. if it was just from Section 1, but there's no way in hell I could leave the two Friday the 13th out so, because they're two of my favourite films. I love them. Absolutely love them. I tend to forget about them ones, but also what I what I think of is I prefer, funny enough, I prefer Friday the 13th Part 3 over the first two, although I like them all. So, yeah, I know. Oh, uh, oh my so, Yeah. I can't, That's I can't pretty low in the list for me. Because, yeah. I just, it looks I great. I must admit it looks great in 3D, like. I saw it in 3D twice at the cinema. So that's my nostalgia trip there. Screen Factory did an absolutely amazing job on the 3D version. I know they messed it up to begin with just with the titles, but they corrected it. And once it was corrected, wow, looks amazing. I did have an old one with the glasses, but um, I, got, I got rid of that one. Um, I've got Screen Factory one. Wordy Word says directors, distributors often dilute their films to get lower ratings, which equal younger audience, which more equals more revenue. Us adults then lose out. Yeah, I totally agree. Since John, I miss Rick Mayall too. I think we all oh, do. Yeah. One of a one of a kind. You'll never see Definitely. another. Simple as that. Every time I see him on the telly now, just even just a little clip, Mark, the first thing is like, bless him. I, I can't help this. I just. I feel it straight away. So sad. Just it's it's quite when it when it happens, one of those ones when it happened, you just go, that's not right. That that yeah. couldn't be a thing. Especially at yeah. that age. You just no, that was odd. 
bit like yeah. David Bowie. You thought, you went, no, he hasn't gone. He's just too big. He's too there, you know. Maybe it says, I'd love to see David Dust Malskian. I don't know if I said that right. Dust Malkian get an Oscar for Late Night with the Devil. It won't happen, though. Ah, a lot of people are talking about this movie. Yes, they are. I want to go and see it. Is it like a horror, obviously, or is it a comedy, or both? It's a horror, but right. Andy said it's, it's a bit like kind of found footage. I was like, oh, that's it. I'm not watching another Blair Witch. No, it's not Blair Witch like that at all. He said, it, when I say found footage, he said it's more like Ghost Watch the, the, the BBC put out. Right. Now, I love yeah. that. So that was it. I was, uh, he sort of like dropped it a bit and then, oh, yeah, yeah, he had me again then when he said that. So, yeah, I want to see it. Yeah, so do I. It's, I don't think Deb will go and see it, but I'll probably have to wait for it in uh, some form of whatever till I can get any hands on it. Um, he's in a Disney film, him, isn't he? I know the name, but I can't. A hundred and one Dalmatians. Hey, I'll tell you what you got is there, mate. Please try the fish. Haven't got a pen. Where's my pen? Yeah. Where's my pen when I need it? Yeah. You, yeah. Definitely a pen moment. Yeah, it's gone. The moment's gone. Since John said I saw Rick Mayall and Adrian Anderson in the Oz Oddity tour, it was only I was only eleven. Oh my God! No wonder I'm warped. Oh, I'm surprised oh, you, you got into that. Oh, your, your parents oh, must have. Did I your know. parents know about that, John? Did they think, "Oh, this will be a laugh"? Like the young ones, and they would, would have thought, "What?" Mm. So. Tris says, what's your favourite modern horror film that you could class as a modern video nasty? That's a good one. Good question. Yeah. Uh, I would have to I've say... It's, comes straight to mind. Yeah, the first one that came straight to mind me was Terrifier. Um, uh, but it Terrifier also could be... Especially. I'm leaning more towards the first one now. I need to watch them both again, though. Um, but also, I saw The Devil's Another Contender. Yeah. That's rough. Mm. Great film, though. Yeah. What's yours? Jaws? Jaws? No, what's what yours? What's yours? Um, I know, I know. Um, Jaws, all that, yes. Jaws, four. Jaws, that looks even worse. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say Terrifier, too. That's the one that caught me mind straight away because it's so it just doesn't let up and it gets worse and no. worse and worse. You know, half the half the ghost stuff in there would have been taken out immediately when it wouldn't have got through because of the things it was doing, yeah. you know. Every single very interesting that we both thought of a Terrifier film, but the, the different ones, yeah. I like Terrifier 1, but I think Terrifier 2. But then again, this Terrifier 3 are going to try and top the pair of them. Yeah, they are. They're apparently, going. no, but apparently they have. It's supposed to be really, really <laughs> good. People walking out, throwing up and stuff like worse than the second one. So I'm like, Jesus, this is bad. Well, have you seen the trailer to it? I don't know. You don't see anything, but. You do see him like getting ready to go. He goes in his house and there's a little kid in the front room. Okay. So And I think you, I think the next thing you see is the room with blood all over the walls. Now I don't know if that's false leading or what or whether there's something's gonna happen to the kid. Well, I could uh, well it didn't pull your punches before this, so there's every chance. No. no. So, so yeah, I think fans, it's gonna be a good one. Hello, Good evening, Not. sir. Do you like Slipknot? Slipknot yourself? No. I like oh, um. I, don't, I like Stone Sour, the other band that 
Corey Taylor's in. I really like them, but I can't get away with Slipknot. The two heavy for me. I like them. I don't. I don't like them all of the songs, but I like a good portion of them. I like the first album. I think the first album is really good. I thought the, the drum sound that recorded on biscuit tins, but I, I don't mind that. <laughs> but it's not as bad as Saint Anger drums. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're Marvel cans them. Um, but that logo that he's got there, the Slipknot logo, the S. Yeah. Not the band I'm in. Like this is my old band that got back together, afraid to sleep. But my other band that I was in, the singer in them. Oh Jesus, got that branded on his leg. Branded. Bent yeah, on. Like yeah. No, that's that's a step too far. I wouldn't go branded. I know you can no. do it, but no, it's not right. No, thanks. No, it's not. So since John says my parents saw Rick Mayo and on one man tour in 1991. I would love to see him live. I just couldn't imagine God, it was, seeing him in the flesh. It was, it was 84 when I seen him. I was 16. That'd be, that'd be brilliant, man. I think it was 91 when I saw the bottom tour, the second bottom tour. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was 95. Right. Joe's Condy says, Hi, John and Rock God. Bottom's still a good series. Yeah. Hi, George. I do agree. Yeah, it is. Love it. And Four Savvy says, recently watched Don't Go in the House 1980. Yeah. I do think it's a great movie. Did you enjoy it? I do as well. Paul says, Witchfinder General has just burned Mary Whitehouse for being an idiot. That's good. <laughs> so, what? So, come on, Nigel. What does Mary Whitehouse say? Nice. We must ban those video nasties. I've never watched one. I've got too much up there. I'll tell you what uh, Marcus was saying. He was talking about the fact of you saying Night of the De Night of the Bloody Apes. And he said he yeah, tried. No. It was pretty good, actually, but it, it wasn't as half as good as yours. So come on, give your Night of the Bloody Apes. I tried to do this on a live stream and I couldn't do the wobble. I sounded stupid. Oh, right. So if I can't go in night of the bloody apes. Oh, I got it. <laughs> nice little vibrato there. You need that, don't you? Because it's so, you do? so good. That. I was crying so when great. I saw the trailer for that. Yeah, and it's nothing like the movie. The screaming and the screeching is not on. Wow. Wow. It's like a wild animal. It's not even there. I know. They and the bloody apes! Apes! There's one! Aye. No, you're right. It's a great film. It's just the fact that it's, it's just not. so stupid. <laughs> well, it's not. It's not. It's not a good film at all, but it's great to I need to watch it again it because much. that was it's one so in the category for me where like, I was like that, and then I went, what the hell have I just watched? I think we don't have this ones where it's where it's obviously that open heart surgery. They didn't like that one, did they? Not that it's that bad. The but, there's a bit of eye violence as well, isn't it? Like an eye gets gouged yeah. out. It's that's that's quite gruesome, like, isn't it? Mm. So Gary North says, Nigel, shameless have mountain of the Connable God back in stock. Yeah, and then keep it because it's cut. It is cut, isn't it? The one I want, which I didn't know. I've been watching it for ages, like 20 odd quid. Now it's gone out of print and it's, it's going for stupid money. Hmm. I got a DVD. It's all right, you know, it's not bad. It is fully uncut. Oh, yours is the uncut one, isn't it? The animal stuff in there is not nice. Well, no animal stuff is nice, but it, it gets extreme. Like I say, when we were talking, remember when we were at that, the Video Nasties exhibition? We're yeah. talking that young girl, you know, Rachel. Yeah. We're talking about the poster on the wall and we said to her, Oh, by the way, there's some stuff in that. So she goes, Oh, yeah, what 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 was it? Because she was quite wanting to know about these things. Yeah, so she was as well. Excuse what I'm gonna say. And I told her what I thought was in this movie, one of the bits that was quite I couldn't believe I'd seen it. And you would say to her, Well, what they say that? And I says, Oh, you do. She didn't seem to be that faced by it though, did she? Which was not crazy. Is 
mountain or as it's the other title you can get it as his slave of the cannibal god is that as bad as cannibal holocaust um no the animal stuff's not as bad but it's not nice it's it's pretty awful is it more, is it more frequent scene. not really i think cannibal holocaust no. is more frequent but it's got one of the worst things i've ever seen i've talked about this before actually i've had to take about one of the worst things i've ever seen in a video nasty it is in uh mountain of the cannibal god or slave wow. of the cannibal god it is it's um when the bloke eats a live crab like a sandwich just ah. it and it's like well i haven't got anything but say this is a crab um that's your crab there sort of thing and that's its face head whatever that thing is i can't stand crabs just puts it in like that and just eats it like face first like that and then chews it up and i went that is the <laughs> most disgusting thing i've ever seen in my life awful crab sandwich you know mm. sammy g says that is what's your favorite episode john and Nigel? i love the ferris wheel episode actually when i saw that i was going to say the ferris wheel is unreal i love that episode and, it and you know a lot of people didn't like that because the entire episode is on that Ferris wheel. But on the Ferris wheel have you ever seen the bloopers where you hear the fully uncut version of him unbleeped i don't think so i'll tell you afterwards what he says it's unreal what he comes out with because all you hey we know to swear don't we you beep and the beep beep the you beep it beats is all you hear wait you hear what, when i tell you what he actually says i could not get my mm. breath um that is one of my favorite ones i can't just pick the one there's there's got to be three or four there's that one uh there's the christmas one with gold frankenstein and girl um the halloween one with the sprouts of evil trick or treat as well e god that is funny and even the first one where they go they're going into the sex shop for the pheromone spray e jesus christ we are men of science and he grabs on this thing it's a dirty grip again yeah then he goes like <laughs> when he realized what he's grabbed hold of <clears throat> it's quite bad for the time when you think about the bottom wasn't it it wasn't yeah. you know it pushed the envelope a bit yeah it did i uh, got keith from euphoria pictures all right keith hello john and nige hello me everybody in the chat i hope you have a great night unfortunately i can't see for long but i promise to check it up and catch up Thanks for doing that, uh, Keith. Excellent stuff, mate. 6, 6.57, so you got every chance to not be here at this point. But if you're watching it on the catch-up, all right, mate? I'll see you Wednesday. See you next Wednesday. See you next Tuesday. See you next... No, it's Wednesday. I know that. The, but I'm the John Landers about... thing, it is, yes. yeah. Yeah, see you next Wednesday. But obviously, see you next Tuesday is a bit more. Actually, talking about ah, I'm right. I'm now. Uh, mm -hmm. I've got. I was just telling uh, Nice before. I was. I was recording a video, and I was walking across the road, and this bus beeped us, and I didn't know it was going to beep us, and I nearly died. And if you want to hear about six or seven bleeps in quick succession, you'll hear that one. I put actually, I'll put it on because I've done a few ones and um, a few bleep fests on it. He nearly soiled his studded leather thong. Well, I couldn't. I couldn't believe um, the fact that the, I was across the road and the beepers. So, it, what might have been the bus? I don't know. But I didn't press the button, so I didn't stop the bus from going along. And he didn't knock us over. But you know, anyway, you'll see it on the video of me getting there. Uh, well, I wasn't happy. Put that. Way. <laughs> Did you shout anything back? Well, he's gone by the time I got on the other side of the road because another bus coming towards this, and I thought I'm going to get killed off this bus. So I get in the thing, then I'll. I I'll can't wait to see this. Well, they were gone. They were gone. You were seeing the background going up the road, but uh, hey, God, he has a quite a few bleeps on that video. Actually, it's um, another bleep fest. But I put it on there. Actually, I've got another section from another video, so I'll just put the whole lot in. Probably about three minutes of bleeps. Why not? Exactly. I think bleeps sound funnier than the swear words. Do you know what I mean? I do, but then I like to hear what you're saying as well. 
So yeah, I, I, you, if you want. I'm too nosy. It gets the better of me. I have to know. Well, I'll do. I'll send you if you want to put it on your um, your one, the bundle rock. I'll put it on there. I'll give you the uncut one. I'll, I'll get the little. It's only about a minute, or even that. And everyone can hear what I actually say. The bus driver who was miles up the road. There you go. A little bit of exclusive content, which we were supposed to be doing all along. What? We said we'd be putting exclusive content on that Mondo Rock group that won't be going anywhere. Obviously, with your members section as well, though. No, it's well, the, the members, it's just a little clip of what was going on in the members thing. But um, the members thing is all uncut for one of it. Actually, I put a video on yesterday and I was so surprised that this one, I thought it would have got flagged up immediately. I don't monetize them, so it gets under the radar. Nobody takes any notice of it. I was so amazed that this one got through with no no any sort of things coming up and saying you can't say this, you can't say that. It wasn't swearing, it was just talking about other things. Well, I was swearing in it, but not too much. But it was the kind of the whole thing I was talking about. I thought this is never going to get through. I kept saying in the video, this is never going to get through, and it did. So go I'm intrigued. It. Yeah, well, I can't tell you what it is on there. All I just say the, no. the video is called. A gub, a gub, and I'll just leave it at that. If you know, you know. And you <laughs> backwards, it's bug a. Um, a gub, no, it's a g u b question mark a gub. Um, that's all it is. But there's more to it than that. But I really thought I was going to get uh, a problem with it, a big problem with it, but I didn't. Watch it get taken off now. <laughs> um, I'll show you on here. It's on here somewhere. I'll just show you the, the uh, what's it called? Thumbnail. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to find something where I can't find these things. I'm looking for them. Anyway, the, yeah, I'll go. But we'll, we're getting off topic here. Right. Um, Andy says, have you lads seen, I'm not going to ever explain, Legend of the Overfiend. Yes, I've seen it. All right, suck, no, G. Manga. Uh, no, I'm not going to. I hate manga. No, it's thanks. really violent. Really violent. Manga animation. I'd probably rather watch Aliens. Jesus, I wish I'd never said that. I'm already having people on me back to watch it as it is. I'm I lied. I'd rather watch now than Aliens. Yeah. What do you mean the second one or the first one? The second one, the first one was bad enough, thanks. Oh, it's a totally different, but I, I don't care. I don't want to say it. Kate's I really busting really my really chops to watch it. You get a lot out of it, you know. Honestly, don't don't knock your loved. I think you will really get a good. Uh, I think you like that movie. I really do. I did just pump there. I just thought I'd let you know it. Brian Lovell says, seems that Arrow Limited Edition of the 4K City of the Living Dead is now out of print. That's quick. Give over. Did you get that one, Nigel? No. I did, did want that of... Cauldron yeah. one. Yeah. But it's stupid money, so I did intend getting that, but it's having the money. If, if I can find it, I might get it tomorrow. I'll see, because I get paid tomorrow. I'll have a look, see how much it goes for. Um, I'm sure last time I looked on one of the sites, it was there. And I only looked a few days back or about a week ago. That's well, mental. I mean, Having said things... that, if you, go on, if you go on 88 films, they're out of print. Really? But they're still on Amazon. They're exactly. HMV the day. Yeah. It just I means that like, once they're gone, they'll be gone, they won't be getting any more. Oh, right. speaking speak of which, um, come in, Brown, you through. So, Mark, Marty too says, Mark says, what database do you both use to keep track of your collections? I don't use anything, if I'm honest. Do you do no, anything? Do I, I, when I get everything sorted and I can put them all on the shelves instead of all piles and boxes and stuff, um, I might just sort of start to make a note of them, but I, I wouldn't know where to go with a database or anything like that. But I would like to know what I've got and how many I've got, because I've got a clue. 
I've always thought about it when I, when I look at it and think I'm going to have to put all of them online and we can scan them with a, a thing and I just think, I don't know if I've got the time to do it. It's going to take a massive amount of time. Then you think, what ones have I done? What ones have I not done? Where do I start? Where do I finish? And I won't be putting all my DVDs on because that, I want rid of quite a big chunk of them anyway. But the only ones I'll be putting on are the ones I'll be keeping. But it's going to be mainly Blu-ray and 4K whenever I do it, whenever I get the chance to do it. Yeah, I think I'll do that myself. <clears throat> so since John says there was no bad bottom episodes or young one episodes, I do agree with that. I agree. So, you know, Sammy G was talking about the Evil Dead traps. Would you ever go for those ones on 88 films? They're like kind of um, Chinese movies, Chinese horror movies. I would like to watch them, actually, because I've, I've had nothing but good about them. Yeah, I've seen Evil Dead Trap a lot of years ago, and I can't remember it, but I remember it being really good. Actually, there's a really good one that was in the 88 um, Asian collection. And what was it called? Seeding of a Ghost. And just think of the Evil Dead. It's like a Chinese version of Evil Dead. It's absolutely wow. brilliant. Man. It's so it's absolutely nuts. Uh, really good. Special effects are brilliant on it. So Seeding of a Ghost, honestly, you really would love that movie. So Slipknot fan says, I haven't seen any Section 1 video nasties yet. Which movie would you recommend to somebody new to this collection? Good one. Wow, not one. No, that's quite quite Ooh. strange. Actually, I think you would have bumped into some of them by now. See, it depends what type of film you like. Do you like slashes or do you like zombie films or do you like sort of bit of jello mixed in with horror there's, there's there's so many different things or do you like do you like stuff like death wish uh because there's even one like that it's it would be hard to just give one title i think don't you john i do i'm looking here i mean what i would say is i would say don't go for something like faces of death first no or, and don't go for cannibal holocaust or holocaust maybe that might be too much to, to go and down one thing you might and that's the worst one so they'll all be easy after that the I ones that I would probably go movie. for, I would go for The Burning, Fight for Your Life, um, yes. Zombie, or Zombie Flesh Eaters, whatever you want to call it, yeah. and Tenebrae, and see how you get with them for. I'd say exactly the same thing. Even though I like Anthropophagus, I wouldn't put that first because it might, someone might think that's awful or rubbish, which you can't yeah. come across like that. And it might put them right off. So I would say, don't do that. I would definitely say The Burning, because it's such a good movie. Um, Zombie, definitely. And Fight for Your Life, definitely, because of the yeah. fact that it's so, you know, sort of, um, what's it called? What's the word? Um, what's it when it's called? Oh, the word is. Um, it's, for me, it's exceptionally gripping. It has you on the edge of your seat. And it's also yeah. quite disturbing in a way as well. There's some disturb disturbing scenes in it, but you are rooting for this family all the way through it. Yeah, uh, you're right. Brilliant, brilliant film. And I would probably say as well, just to put a, a really sensationalistic one on, I Spit in Your Grave, just try that one because it's quite extreme without being That's a good too one. Extreme. Yeah. But make sure it's the uncut one so you know you've seen it properly because there's a... You get the wrong one in this country. I don't mean the one that's like come out recently, but although that is pretty badly cut, there's ones before are even worse cut. If you want to see the full uncut one, you've got to get the American one, which you can get on DVD or Blu-ray or 4K. You've got you've got your pick. You can get it on all three. Yeah. So Max says burial ground would have been a good be on the section one, given that the freak child doesn't it. But it didn't get distribution until '87 with massive cuts, 20 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, that was another one I always thought was on the video nasty list, but it wasn't because of, like I say, the stuff in it. It's quite gory as well, and it was always one that we were, me and John Hall, were looking for at the same time. So it makes you think that's definitely a video nasty, but it wasn't. Quite strange that one. I remember when that first came out on Blu-ray with Severin. It came with the slip and the poster. And you had that to, to begin with, didn't you? That one, yes, I did. I did. I well, that's the one I've still got 
I've only ever watched it once when it first came out. Don't remember anything about it apart from I would look at it differently now. But at the time, I was like, my God, this is so slow and dull. And I assumed it was a video nasty, but yeah, no, it's not. The I'd love to think that the movie. version that they release is uncut, Max. 20 minutes is a big chunk. Well, the film's not too long anyway, so God knows what they cut out of it. it must have been I don't know what he does, the freak the child. I know who he is. I remember you pointing him out to me. <laughs> do, you know, do you not remember what he does? No. Do you know the Little Britain? You know the I've seen TV series bits. Little Britain. Yeah. Oh, right. Have you seen the bit where David Williams does Bitty with his mother? Have you seen that? Like the kiss, Bitty? Does he kiss her and stuff? Well, yeah, but Bitty when Mom. when David Williams does bit, Bitty, he keeps he's like an adult and he keeps saying to his mom in the most inappropriate times, Bitty. Ah. And she goes, All right then, no problem. And she does feed him. It's it's to do with that, but obviously with the media oh. zombie, what do you think he's going to be chewing on? So there you go. Oh dear. Oh. Huh? oh. It's so, it's I, so, I, I think I must uh, get that to the front of the queue. Post haste. It's could you just think? And she's even though he's weird, she is weird as well. This is before he turns into a zombie. She's, he's just all over like a rash and she's like oh yeah and she, she seems to enjoy it I don't know it's it's so oh. bizarre oh, 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 yeah. so Synth John also got like a Blade in the Dark recently too yeah have you seen that one that's night? another one I want really? oh. so much stuff I want you just don't have the money I for it well, there is. It's, hard to, it's hard to pick and choose now isn't it yeah it is We adopt Evil Dead Trap 2, nowhere near as good as the first, Napoleon says. So much weirder than the first. Um how many is I there? Remember seeing so I think well, I think there's more than two. Or maybe I was gonna say two. isn't there three or something or four possibly. Possibly. You never know these days because I don't know. Have Arrow only just the... released this? Oh 88, whoever's released this. 88. They released them on a new um, a new line they've got. Are they releasing them all, oh, or just the first one? Um, they've done one and two thus far. With slips, did you say that? They've got no slips on. They've got the OB strips on the side, a bit like Radiance films. So we've got that. We've got nothing else, so it's got no slips on it, which is a bit of a shame, actually, because I think it would have been nice with a slip on. Oh, they need to start that the crap. They know we like our slips. Yes, OB, OB things are okay on records. But I wouldn't go with them on the uh, exactly. You know That's I mean? where they belong. It's it's a it's a thing that they do in Asia and, and sort of Japan. It's just their thing, but it's not my particular um, thing. <laughs> so, Mikey says I had the amazing Mister No Legs on VHS. It was hilarious. This title is new to me. Really is. We were talking about somebody was mentioned on one of our streams way back when, and it was intriguing back in the day. And I think it's got a actually it's got a um a good, a, a well respected actor in it as well. I'm gonna have to have a look on here just to see what, what a title. The, movie the amazing Mister No Legs. Yeah, Richard Jaco. Remember him? No. That's Richard Jekyll there. Oh, he looks familiar. He's in Grizzly. So there's amazing Mr. Lone Eggs with his um, shooting his machine guns and stuff. I've just got to say, you just said there the missing Mr. Lone Eggs. No, what? You said Lone, lone Eggs then instead of No Legs. L lone the, Eggs. Ah, that's a sequel. The missing Mr. Sequel's lone lone Eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put my teeth in a day. I'm gonna get them. Uh, Writ in. Written by that world famous writer Betty Swallox. <laughs> tea bags, hello lads. All, all, all's going well. Yes, tea bags. It is. Hello there, mate. Um, 
I'd love to see Cannibal Apocalypse and Cut. Yes, and it's so close to it being and Cut. Yeah, and the the American DVDs region locked as well. If you can't haven't got a uh, multi region, that is a really good one. That that's a, that's a section one, isn't it? The little apocalypse. <laughs> no, I think it's a section. Oh, is it two? Oh, it is. Yes, I. It is. I. Sorry. No, well, I got a section one, and slave of the cannibal god didn't. I, I don't understand what they're looking no. for. That's a great yeah, film. That I love that cannibal, cannibal apocalypse. It's not a cannibal movie, though, is it? Really? No. I wouldn't class it as one. When you see them attack, it's more like. Um, like a zombie film, like it, it, it reminds me of Dawn of the Dead in parts, but then it, you also get this Vietnam backstory as well. It's different, it's, it's not your average cannibal film. Don't go and think there's a load of animal cruelty out like that because there's not. No, there's no, just apart from that one scene. And um, I wouldn't even class it as it's yeah. like it's a rat gets flamed and that's it. Anywhere else, I wouldn't yeah. class it as pest control. Yeah, I know what you mean about that. I mean, best way to look at it. I agree with you, but uh, yeah. Sammy G says, I hope Cannibal Apocalypse, Night of the Apes, Axe gets a UK Blu ray release. Yes, I agree. Axe, what a film that is. It's such a nice film. Sounds a daft word, that, but it is. It's like, oh, it's got this thing about it. Just it's like it's so innocent. And the poor lass with the granddad in it, it's like you really do feel for them. How the hell that got dragged up? Just because of its title. Because there is nothing at all in it. No, there's not. Do you think it's got a slight take on Pearl in a certain section? Do you know what I mean? Pearl with yeah. the fact of his burn in the dark and he's in the yeah. wheelchair. It's it's not the same, but it's got that little flavour. Yeah, it's, the it's, it's there's little nods to it type of thing. Yeah, slightly. I've never Maybe thought of that before. Um, Slipknot fan says, Astro Zombies makes me think of Astro Creep 2000 by White Zombie. Yeah, Synth John said, I would love to see the films release Blu-ray of Cannibal Apocalypse and The Cannibal Man, yes, because that is out in 4K. Although it hasn't got the two cuts on, unfortunately. It's still a good picture, though. It's uh, Is it German, that 4K? Yeah. It's nice. It's it's good. It's just it needs that other cut on, because, I mean, the other cut's great. Um, This one, I was just thinking about this the other day, actually. Shogun Assassin would look great on 4K. Yeah. I have never it's seen it. Never, ever oh. seen it. You were missing out the blood on that one. It's like it's like someone's got a horse pipe of blood. It just goes on forever <laughs> when they go smash them. It's like shh, shh. and it keeps going on and on and on. It doesn't stop. It's brilliant. Can you get that? So you can, but the um you can get the box set with from Criterion, which has the whole lot on. It's quite expensive. It has the six films on because obviously Shogun Assassin is the first two. Cuts into one film, shortened a lot, and it's got this crazy mu uh, mu uh, music which sounds like it's off a computer game from the eighties. It's got this like jingly music. It's it's brilliant, but it's got that on the box set, the Criterion box set. You're looking at fifty pound plus for that one, just for one movie. But you can't wow. get it separately. But it, the picture quality is not that good, and it? it's got a load of scratches on it. I found anyway. I was quite surprised at how bad it was. It's a great film though. Um, is it an so, English release? The Blu ray? I'm trying to think who put it out. I know I had it, but I swapped it for when I when I got the criterion. I swapped it. I just but I sold it. I had the I had the um I had the steel book actually. Can you believe it? Shogun so, Assassin steel book. Yeah, I did, and I just well I sold it. Right. <laughs> I'm going to uh, leave you with that question. I'm going to nip the toilet. Two seconds.
When do you reckon we will finally get the Hitcher second sight box set? It is it's coming soon. They did the last update I've seen for a release date was this month. But well, last month they did a post saying that um all the um the restoration and scanning and all that stuff's done. Remastering. They just need they didn't say who, but they just need to get a certain person to okay it before they can get it out there. I don't know if they've actually got anything pressed yet, but I'm assuming that'll be a pretty fast process. They are hoping to give us a release date as soon as this happens. So keep your eyes peeled because I reckon any day now. Um I think it I think it'll come out this year. I don't think it'll be out in April. I think they'll announce it in April. And I'm, I personally think it'll probably be out in around May, June time. Um like summer ish. Um but yeah I, it, I don't think it's gonna be next year or anything like that. And I know there's other companies have brought it out as well, and people are worried that they've like sort of stolen Second Sight's restoration to do it. They haven't. Second Sight have said there is no other release of this film that is using the materials that they've got and mastered. So, and one of the releases that said people were worried about when I looked, it wasn't even a 4K, it was a Blu ray. The Second Sight one is definitely a 4K. But I'm I'm reckoning about May June. I think I think I do think it'll be this week this week this month though when they do either at least give it or it'll give you a rough date or it might even go for pre order this month. Um, and if it does, brace yourselves because I think their website will crash. It's one of the most sought after ones in a long time, isn't it? It's been talked about by youngs. It is, but then again, when you think about it, I think Dawn of the Dead was probably even more wanted than this, and that never sold out immediately. We all got we all got our hands on that. It depends yeah, how many I they make. It, I mean, it, yeah, they'd be mad not to make a lot of them. Yeah, I, th I think they realise how many people are waiting for it. Mind they must do, but it's just when it's a film like this that everybody wants. It's it's only natural you're going to worry. You're going to be worried in case you don't get yours, but oh, just, be, just just keep your fingers crossed and hope that everybody who wants one gets one. Yeah, that'd be the best way, wouldn't it? Yeah. So Chickster says, um, I know it's not video nasty, but it's going to watch the first Omen in the cinema this week. Not expecting much, but I'm already watching the other two movies that day, so I thought I'd check it out while I'm while I'm there. I'm already watching two other movies. So, just as a as a side note, would you would you be going to watch the Would you watch the first Omen? Are you are you not really too keen on that? No, like I'm actually Omen quite keen on seeing it. I am I am looking forward to seeing it. I want to see it. I've heard nothing but good about it. This, people are saying the exact yeah. opposite about this to what they were saying about the Exorcist. But I actually really enjoyed Exorcist Believer. Yeah, I, I watched it, it for a I film alone, and I, and I thought the ending was absolutely mind-blowing. I thought it was fantastic. I didn't see that. It really? was just such a good ending Yeah, for Exorcist Believer. Did you see it? No, I didn't. I will watch it. Oh, it. man. It. It's worth watching just for that ending alone. That's all I'm going to say. It's not a bad ending. It's, wow, it's just quite emotional, actually. Um. <laughs> St. John. I love Nigel's Mary Whitehouse impersonator. It's brilliant, man. Absolutely brilliant. The video that I put up tonight, I meant to put it on and I forgot. I was going to put it on at the beginning. Because I've done two little I've videos. I've done, the, I've done the first clip. one. Huh? Yeah. Send you it. You sent me that clip. I might... No, I, I sent, you sent me a clip of that. I might put it on me next. Because um, I haven't, cut, I haven't um, edited it yet. So I might do that. I'll send you them both over because I've done two. There's, there's the original one. Oh, we we must yeah. ban more right. video nasties. And the latest one is 
Oh my goodness, are you watching all those videos downstairs? Yes, I am, you old bitch. <laughs> it's all thanks to where we're watching them. Exactly. She's done us a favour. She's done us a massive favour. Of course she did. She's a legend. We should all get like, t-shirts. I heart Mary Whitehouse. Can you There's imagine no now living in... without the masterpiece that is Cannibal Terror? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So Richard Where one Bronson, of the tribes stood there like that. Well, what his mouth like that for? Well, that's what he does. Yeah. Thundercrack, is that my pump? And... <laughs> and Slipknot fan says Thunderstruck. No, Thundercrack. There's a big difference. Uh, yes. Honestly, I can't believe. I can't believe that any cinema, the scholar, showed Thundercrack. Uncut. And what is this? I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. I saw this uh, scholar and they show you some clips in this documentary of, of Thundercrack. And I went, I can't believe that I'm actually seeing this on a Blu ray in the UK. Some of the scenes in it, they were saying, oh, it's got every single scene you could imagine in this movie. And it showed you this clip. Not that I really wanted to see it. I went, my God, I'm, I'm actually seeing what I'm seeing. And I, I was. It's in black and white. But it's it's like like a John Waters film on acid. Oh, I was just going to say it's not yeah. like Pink Flamingos, is it? No, it's not. But it's got more or less everything else you can imagine. And it's, it's nuts. I haven't, I haven't seen it all. I've seen a couple of clips of it. I will actually pick it up because I just, I think it's, I want to see the full thing and just see. I don't know if I'll keep it. It's got a Severin Blu-ray release because I thought, I'll bet it's like a trash DVD around. It's not a thingy. But it's a Severin Blu-ray and I went, wow. It's cheap, man. But I'll, I'll get it, watch it, and probably, I don't know, I'll probably keep it. It's just such a crazy movie. Um, Max says, I've seen Blue Eyes of the Broken Doll. Don't remember any animal cruelty in it. Um, I was reading like the reasons for it being banned, and that was it. It just said a scene of animal cruelty or something. And I'm assuming if it's the UK version you've watched, that'll be exactly why you haven't seen it. It'll be cut. Yeah. If it exists, I'm assuming it'll be on that Scream Factory version. Yeah. And, I'm, uh, open, John says, I'm open it isn't. I don't like animal cruelty. No, I know. It'd be better if it wasn't. You're right. Uh, since John says I need reconstructive surgery on my ferox. Oh, that'll so cost you. With that. I know. Well, take the money. I'll grab you right uh, by the other cost. Hi, chaps. Vinegar Syndrome put out corpse grinders on, but the slip is long gone. Pranks, aka the dome that drip blood. That's the one I've taken. I was thinking of. I think Synapse put that out. Yeah. I remember that's that the, picture. They did. That, that's the one I've got. Yeah. So, so if you look over it, John, it's you need to type in the Dom the Drip Blood. Yeah, it's got. Is it kind of like it's like a picture of a dome on the front? Is that right? It's like yes, yeah, like the building, and it's got like a red background behind it. But you'd be pleased to know, it does have the video nasty reversible artwork with pranks with the like the the wooden stick with the nails in and the fist. Right. So you can oh, turn yeah. it round. I have ten man round to the pranks artwork. No, that's great, actually. I do want to see it. It's one of those ones I've been wanting to see and just never got. I think you'll enjoy it. it so. Yeah, I think I will. I th I'm Watch sure it John as you do any other video on. nasty, that frame of mind, and you'll love it. Yes, put your video nasty glasses on. Yeah, don't watch it thinking, right, this is going to be a horrific slasher. Because it's not. Video nasty, it's excellent. Yeah. yeah. So Tris says... The most disturbing film from any section for me is easily Possession. That film ruined my week. Have you seen that yet? No, I haven't seen it. Uh, I have seen it way back when. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. But, you didn't? Uh, I don't need to watch it again. No, I didn't like it at all. I thought it was too miserable. Right. It really was I just got like it. a massive downer for me. I got it and put it on. I thought, I'm going to hate this. It, it was one of the ones when I bought it that I was dreading getting because I thought this not because of like cannibal holocaust dreading more like as in like I'm going to die of boredom watching this dreading and I thought 
I thought it was great. I loved it. I thought, what a cracking film. And it had a strange ending. Um, and it was like a strange ending as in Smile. Yeah, I hated Smile, but I loved Possession. I think it was, it's the way it was done, it was done better. It was done right. Yeah. Um, oh. And I really felt gutted for the way that they were arguing and fighting and not getting on because, like, like they're obviously going through a fight and she's going, right, I'm going, and there's nothing he can do to stop it. And you kind of relate to it. Um, I don't know why it got dragged in under a video nasty. I don't. Having said that, if it wasn't a video nasty, I never would have watched it. I'd have just thought, I'm not watching that crap. But I really enjoyed it. Uh-huh. I'm sure he's getting a re release soon. Yeah. Is it 4K? Yeah, it's 4K. Yeah. 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 I'm sure I read it's coming out on 4K. Do you think? 4K or Blu ray? I'm sure it's a 4K. Yeah. I, I know it's come out in Australia as a Blu ray. It might be. Well, Second Sight did the original UK yeah. Blu-ray, so it may well be. Rather good. Yeah. I'm sure so it's a four. Yeah, I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm sure I was thinking yeah. if that's a 4K, I would get that. It you is mean, just a I'm thinking, yeah. Um... In your mind, you're thinking, what were you going to say then? I can't think. I was going to think of summer, but I couldn't think of it, so it's gone. <laughs> or in, in my mind, of, um, yeah. I don't know. It's 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 a way. Matt Chat says the bloke who owned the score at Cinema started Palace Video, and were responsible for the Year of the Dead making its way to the UK and Ireland. Yes, they showed it first in Scala. And there's a great story that happened in in it was one of the one one of the stories that it would have been embellished because it was a video nasty or ne- thereabouts, but it happened. This thing happened in the Scholar Cinema at the same time as the the video nasties things was happening. The Evil Dead was shown, and there was something that happened in the Scholar Cinema that everybody put down to the fact of them watching Evil Dead. That's all I'm going to go into it, but it's. Um, it's it wasn't it wasn't it was just picked up that way by the it was actually on the news had a news clip of it no way there was there was a couple of news clips when they were saying about the scholar cinema did this or showed this or whatever they was getting their hands wrapped about summit but it's so it's so interesting i think you would love it because it's think of it like the tyneside cinema on acid yeah basically anything wow it was just like a, a free for all Showing the most outlandish films of all time. I can't. Wow. Begin to tell you how good, how good this documentary is. Really is. Um, but you're kind of amazed at what you hear every time they come on over the story. You think, my God, that that happened in the cinema. I thought the Evil Dead was fair shot on that Prince Charles cinema thing. Um, possibly yes, but I know when when they did show the Evil Dead, something happened. That's all I'm saying. And it's on that documentary you were on about earlier. Yeah, uh, it's got a documentary. It's great. I've only, I've got still got some extras to watch in it, but so good. It's like it, it takes you back to the times when you were younger and you were watching stuff in the, in the cinema where anything went. You know, we used to go in and like throw popcorn and all this it used to be crazy. I, I want to watch it. And you head off and all that. But this is, is on Blu-ray or something. This is next say? level stuff. You what? Sorry. Did you say it was on Blu-ray or something? <laughs> Yeah, Blu-ray, it's a, it's a BFI release. I saw an HMV. Um, yeah, it's there. It's it, it's really good. I can't, it's the best documentary I've ever seen. And if you watch it, you would under, you may not think it's the best one you've ever seen, but you would understand how good it is. Totally related to it. it. Oh, you will. I think you'll get a lot of, you'll kind of think that, that even though you probably weren't at the scholar, obviously you would probably think to yourself, I can identify with everything I talk about in here. You would know people like that. Look at all the video nasty ones I've watched, and that just that just transports me back. And they are, all the documentaries are always in London, but I was nowhere near London. Yeah. But my God, I don't have to relate to them. No, you're right. It's like as if it's you knew you were there. You weren't there, but you were there at exactly the same time talking about this stuff, weren't you? You, you had yeah. the same experiences 
as these people did on the TV or down the We were seeing that news footage for real when it was first broadcast as well. I know. Does that come with a uh, slip? No, it's a BFI release, so it doesn't come with a slip. Right, just, as long as I know. A normal one. It's never had one. Gestapo's last orgy, Gary says, is the disturbing one from Section 1. Yes, I do agree with that one. It is the greatest uh, Nazi one, though. It's the best, it's the most well done one, isn't it? It's the most, I'm not going to say enjoyable, but it's the most, in, it's the one that keeps you watching all the time without you thinking, this is slow. Oh, yeah. it's a, it is a cracking film. It. Yeah, I just like to say that scene, I was like thinking, oh, this is a bit, uh, go to your next level. So since John says there was talk of a cannibal ho Holocaust video game sequel, you ever heard that one? No. I never heard that. That would be crazy. It's like it? a video game sequel to the film. Possibly, yes. I think it would be a good video game, actually. Like a shooting. I don't think I'd want to play it. I'd like to it's watch somebody shooting. play it, but I would want to try. <laughs> yeah, I like to watch them type of things, you're right. Max says, Does anyone know there's a Faces of Death remake coming this year? I did hear a whisper, but I can't remember where I heard it. And I was like, how can you remake that? That's exactly what I was going to say. How can you make remake that movie? It just, I mean, the stuff that could show these days would be 10 times worse, worse than that. I don't think I would want to see the stuff that they could show. You know, all this, like, you know, really ISIS. Bad stuff. Yeah, I, I just couldn't even begin to think of uh, the stuff you would see. I wouldn't want to. And I don't know how anyone would be able to put that out as a movie. The only way I can possibly think of them doing it is they can't use any footage. It would have to be all acted or reenacted, however you want to put it. Which would kind but of that... take away. It would. Not that I'm saying it's it's great that they did that, reenacted half it and showed the aftermath of yeah. the video. I know. But it's. I can't. It's it's one of those movies. It is what it is, and I don't think they should do anything with it now. No, I don't. Apparently, and I thought this was one of the false parts, but the body that's washed up on the beach apparently that's real. Yes, yeah. I was shocked to find that out. Uh, know, well, first, another another that. thing that they could touch upon is that three guys, one am a thing. I don't want to say anything like that. Thanks. Oh no, my God, no. No, 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 no. I can't believe what I was saying. I thought it would stop, but it didn't. So uh, have you watched no, it? I'm well Yeah. I'm well past anything like that now. Oh God, I couldn't live with myself watching that. I could I could not get that out of my head. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was one of those things where it would just be a little maybe like fun, like it wasn't real. Or something I didn't know what I was expecting. It was one, you know, when you used to send clips to people all over the place. This is like via email in the early days of the internet. So mm. just got this thing, and I thought, oh, I'll have a look at that. So when it started, I thought this this looks too real, and it, it got the point where I thought this is real, and then I just realised what they were actually doing, and it just went to the to the extreme with the salmon. I just thought, and it was a hard one to get out of your head, and I thought. I don't care how much I was paid. I would never, ever, ever watch that again. And I think it was one of the times when I thought, I don't want to see any more of this stuff. It's just too, it's too out there. It's not, it's just not right. Did it not make you feel ill? They got found. Yeah, it, 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 of course, because you kind of, I thought it wasn't, I didn't think it was real. And I thought, this is real halfway through or, you know, a bit into it. I think it might have lasted about four minutes or five minutes, but in my mind i only watched it once and i thought delete gone but things got passed around you know and you just watched them and you thought that and you see you see a lot of, i mean this lad sent this this bloke falling down the air he fell off a mountain and it was the the camera followed him going all the way down this mountain and he was he had like the worst thing about it was he had like a um he had a crash helmet on but he had a um, not did he have a crush? He had a, a um, what's it called? Like a boiler suit on, a, a, like a climbing suit. And when he fell off the thing, he must have bounced on every single rock going down. 
on countless, countless times, and he must have broken every single bone in his body. It must, the way his body was bending and stinging, he must have literally broke every single, like his leg about 15 times, Nola, and he was playing like, like a ball at the end. That's one of the worst things I've ever seen. I didn't know that was, you know, you see these people like to fall over and you go, oh, they to fall over and they get up and they go, oh, look at that. Or they might even break the leg, that'd be the worst thing you would see. This was horrendous and I just thought, I'm done with that. And I, I don't like yeah. to see anything like that now. I think no, it's, uh, I never did. And it stays with you a lot longer than it used to do when you were a kid. Now mm -hmm. it's just like you can't get out of your head. So I'm, yeah, way past that like. And so Carl says, hiya fellas, obviously I don't know as I am asking, but where does Salo sit in these lists and what are your opinions on the film? Well, weirdly enough, it's not the video in Asti, is it? Yeah, it's not, no, it's not on. I've never seen it myself, so I can't comment. It's it's a well-made film. It looks really good, but it's oh, it's really it's really out there, nasty. It's not a one that you can watch a lot of times. I do like it because I like the fact that the people in it are despicable. They're absolutely awful in what they're like. They're a bit like Gestapo's last orgy type gang in it right. in his place in Italy. But it's the comparison stop there, and it's. It's more to do with, um, you know, how they're forcing people to do certain things. It's it's pretty awful, actually. It gets violent towards the end as well. It's 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 all right. It's not a great watch, and I thought I like it more for the backstory about the director who got killed just at what he was making it. I just after he made it. Yeah, he got, he got murdered, and, didn't he? Apparently, the, the, I don't know if it was official, but he, he got murdered afterwards. And I think it was something yeah. to do because of the film that he made. But I don't think that was like an official thing. I don't know if they caught the person that did it, but I think the person was know. like a jealous lover. I, I think something happened. He got run over, and I mean run over in a car park. And they must have went over him a couple of times because I've seen a picture of his body and it was mutilated. So Wow. I, I think the reason so, that uh, didn't get dragged onto the list is because I don't think it had a video release at the time. No, and remember on that, there was like a list afterwards when this video and asked you to be done. And the, the video, that the, the movies that were put on it was said, if this comes into the country, you're for it. And that was number two on the list, I remember. Uh, oh, wow, was it? Cannibal Holocaust, Cannibal Holocaust was number one and Sailor was number two. Yeah, I remember that. Wow. So, uh where we're now. Well, we've got about half an hour left. Still got loads of comments to do, so I'm going to try and get through some more. I think we've answered a lot more than we usually do. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's been great, actually. I've enjoyed this. I, would, I, I have would really enjoyed this. it. Yeah. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll set ourselves up for some... We'll do a 4K one at the end of Section 2, and then we'll do... After they do the 4K one, we'll do another like comment stream completely, even though we're going to answer ones on the other ones. We don't get around to as many as we want to because we're kind of talking about the ones that we're, we're doing. And it's, yeah. it's a shame we can't get everyone's uh, things because I appreciate the people taking the time to put them in the descriptions. And there's been some um, there's been some great uh, talking points on here, I feel. Definitely. I know some of them have like drifted a little bit, but even so, some of them like, oh. like Salo, um, they've been relevant as well because it's like, they weren't on the list, but they were sort of like verging on being and one. I, I do think Sailor would have been on. I had he got a video list, uh, video release at the time. Um, but no, I've, yeah. I've had a blast. I've really enjoyed it so far. No, it's, it's great. Um, so we'll get through. We'll get through. So I'll pick out some some ones that are like uh, the standout to us. We'll have a go with them. But um, yeah, so Joker could be sold as a more grounded late night with the devil, maybe. And if, if they're talking about Joker film, I haven't seen late night with the devil. But you're not looking at a Marvel film here or a DC film here. That's what I'm going to say, Nige. So oh, why call it Joker? Characters. Yeah, it's got the character of the Joker, but that's not really what it's about. It's about this bloke just in this like horrible place and horrible situation but well then why put that grand prick in it to begin with why go and spoil some it it's like making remaking cannibal holocaust and putting superman in the background it's totally pointless just for the That's sake of it that, you know 
get, gets bit on his shit stained Just remember, night. <laughs> Just remember night. It's only a movie. It's only a movie. Only a movie. It's only a film. It's only a film, Lake. Uh, Steve Jordan. Hey, John. Hey, Rocco. Hi, right, Steve. Hey, Steve. Don't know why I went like that. I meant that. <laughs> uh, Anthropophagus and absurd on the 4K for pre orders, I believe. Amazing. It's certainly I'll get mine in the shop, but um, can't wait to get them. Really cut it. I, I've said all along I'm not getting them, but uh, I don't know you going on about them. You're going to be wicky, maybe get stuff that I don't want to get. <laughs> yeah, but well, you know, I'm, I'm only saying I'm actually that barrel ground on 4K on 88 is absolutely sensational. You pick the box up. Is it? Like a brick. It's really good. It's They've got that thick, it's nearly vinegar syndrome like the slip. Zombie Holocaust is the same. Nice, you know, nice. Is but it like these? Like, they've got like that like texture on them. Aye. I think they're a bit like that. They're, they're very heavy. Heavy card. I Did think you get the these? Same because actually I looked at them in the HMV. I haven't got them yet. I know. Although I do. I'll like, be, I qu I will be quick, about, quick, quick about it because they've gone off the 88 website. I know. But I went that, in when blood, I was in the shop. Blood on Satan's Claws amazing. It, I know. It's no, it's been 90 pounds, wasn't it? Because the 30 quid, it's a bit. What do you think the pricing of that? Do you think 30 quid's a little bit too much? Uh, yes, I do. But. Yeah. I really wanted them. I didn't get the other one yet. What, what, what was the other one again? Blood and Satan's Claw. No, I've got that. Oh, is it? That, is it, oh, that's fantastic. That. Yeah, yeah, there's it's, another one, but it, it's not like... It's not one of these um, Tygon ones. Yeah, I think you've got it. It's Blade in the Dark. Oh, yeah. That's Italian collection, that one. Was that thirty quid? Thirty quid. Aye, it's a bit. See if I went in because I saw them all, and I would have had to pay ninety pounds for them three movies. And I've got the three of them upstairs on Blu-ray. They're all right. They're watchable. I just couldn't. I've got put on Satan's Claw, but I don't have that at all. I've never even seen that. It's but right. I, I'm, good. I absolutely love him. Yeah, well, it, he's this is top uh, top tier. Vincent Price, like. He's, yeah. I haven't seen him in a bad movie. Don't think I have, to be honest. Zombie Creep in the Flesh is so awful, it's great. I totally agree. Yeah, absolutely. Or as it's now known. Yeah. Would prefer to have the original title. Well, that title on Zombie Creep in the Flesh to me is the best title. Better title. Yeah. And that work. Yeah, aye. That's the, the nasty artwork is the best. Yeah, it is. So Slimmer fan said, Nigel, you should definitely check out Joker. It's similar to Taxi Driver, it is. I've never seen Taxi Driver yet. I've got the DVD down there as well. Somebody sent me it. I need to get it watched. Right. Yeah, it's a good film. Really good film, that. Just bought Evil Speak, Steve Charlton says. Uh, I didn't realize it's Spanish, but English audio also noticed it was a had a bad a BDR. That's from Amazon. Yeah, that's like a burnt to order BDR, like the copy. Oh, right, right. So it's not legit, legit. It's, yeah, it's probably because it's Spanish. If you want the legit one, you'd have to track the eighty-eight film ones down. Um, oh, right. Yeah, out of print, enough. so you you won't get it cheap. Um, but if you're not happy with that, I would I would get that sent back if you're not happy with it. Yeah, yeah. If you, I would say I wouldn't be settling with that one. I've got to admit. No. Um, Personally, I'd rather pay the extra and get it. Um, but I'm sure one of the American companies have released it as well. Is it? Is it? Um, is it Severin? Some somebody's released it over there. Um, Marcus says T2 would make a, a new nast would make a new nasties list. I'm sure. I got my name the end credits of T2 by donating to the Kickstarter. 
Can't wait for T3. And crazily, it's supposed to be even more brutal in the first than the second one. I'm thinking T2. I'm thinking Terminator 2. So is that. Two, isn't it? Ah. Yeah, yeah. I totally think, but yeah, Mark this is what that. gets on my wick when people yeah, abbreviate. Yeah. I haven't got a clue what they're talking about. Yeah, I know. I was confused there. Uh, I remember Marcus told me he was on the uh, credits for, for Terminator for Terrorizer 2. Now, wow. I heard that they had a crowdfunding for the special effects. And you know the scene with the girl on the bed that goes on forever? They had a, uh, the crowdfunding thing for just that scene because they needed that much money for it. They couldn't afford it. So I think that's, I, I, I did tell him you might have paid for that scene. So a big thumbs up for that one. Fair play to you. We wouldn't have seen it. Exactly. Richard Brown says Jess Franco's girlfriend was Linda Romay. Lena. Bridget Lahal. I was thinking of Bridget Lahal, I've got to say, because she was in that movie. But yeah, Linda Romay or Romay was uh, his uh, bit stuff. Is it Linda or Lena? Because that says Lena. Oh, well, um, well, it could be Linda or it could be Lena. Uh, I'm thinking it was Linda, personally. But, um, yeah, the pen, I thought she was even... chubby, but she was a little bit leaner than that. Of course, that's, that's, uh, and that's the end of the stream. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here all week, try the veal. That's it. Please try the fish. Um, Steve Twen uh, Steve says, evening, fellas. Evening, Steve. Are you all right, mate? All right, Steve. We've got nice profile pic. Got... Yeah, I know. <laughs> Great. Um, we've still got 76 people here, Nige. 76? Yeah. That's gone up? Well, it, it's been like that most of the night, if I'm honest. Between 60 and 70. That, that's good. I think that's probably the best one we've had. I'm, I'm saying at this point. We're going on tour, lads. Um, Get your tickets. Yes, yes, but we should do a live one, like a live one in the Metro Centre. We're sitting at a desk. Can you imagine that? that? Getting pelted with eggs or something. <laughs> We'd have to go central. <laughs> Wolverhampton um, Town Hall or something. <clears throat> so it's in the middle of the country. Yes. Um Jedi Knight says, have you guys seen the 4K version of Return of the Living Dead? It's absolutely incredible. Yes, it is. Have you seen that one? It's absolutely, yeah, I've got it. It's beautiful. And if you swore then, it's absolutely stunning. Isn't it? Yeah. I was really shocked at how good it was. Gas Steve says, Gaspar Noy was irreversible. I get them two mixed up, actually, because they do similar movies. Well, he and wants Steve to Trump reverse himself the other way around because it was a lot of crap. <laughs> Steve Charlton says, Men Behind the Sun stuck with me. I was 15, now 44. Have you seen Men Behind the Sun? Never even heard of it. Now, I remember uh, John Hall coming through. This was not actually, that might be another one he couldn't get, like, come into the country. Um, it's about the, um, the true story of when the Chinese and the, the Japanese were at war in the Second World War. And what happened was the the Japanese sort of took over China and they just treat them as just basically just things they wanted to experiment on. And it was all done as like that. And it was all these things that it did with them. But the amazing part of it is, and this, this is true, they had the clear, they had the all clear to do this movie, which is quite, you can see it uncut on, the, on YouTube on a really spectacular version. And it's a lot to buy if you want to buy it. So you might want to save yourself a couple of quid. I know there's four of them. I've seen two of them. The first one's the worst. And uh, they used real dead bodies for special effects. And that's true. Wow. Yeah. So that, that would have been number one with the bullets, that one, if it ever got tried to get released. Yeah, that's a bit... Not all, that, not that's all a bit effects, too far. Yeah, are, are real bodies but you can tell when they are and it's got a it's got a open hard surgery on a young kid as well and <sighs> you just don't want to even know about that one oh and um, actually i've heard about this movie before but i've and i've heard it's meant to be really um over the top i'm just going to try and find me credit credits the there they are um tris says <laughs> 
Titane was a really challenging film to watch. I've heard a lot of things about that. It's meant to be um, massively over the top French movie. Something to do with a mm, car. I've heard, about, I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. You can't get over here, but uh, I've heard good things, but, you know, like tough things. Thoughts on a romantic duo? Not seen them. However, I did get the opportunity. Mm. Have they gone? Yeah. I aye. think I know where they are. Yeah. Aye. But uh, asked about, and uh, he got back and said, grab them. Are they hanging around in Wales somewhere? Yes, they are. They're in Wales, by all. I, I know yeah. where they are. Yeah. Lovely sets. I think for me, Necromantic is a decent movie, black and white, a bit like an art house movie. It's got some really like crazy things in it. Necromantic 2 is a better movie, I think, because it's more it's more realized and it's got this um it's kind of like a, a direct sequel because the things that happen in one need to happen so that two happens, but it's from the bloke's point of view in Necromantic One. It's from a woman's point of view in Necromantic 2, which makes it even more interesting. And I've always said the last line in that movie is one of the best last lines you will ever hear in a movie. That's in the, the first one or the second one? The second one. I don't think it's the last line that the ending scene in, although you can tell it's fake, the ending scene in Necromantic 1 is unreal. But the, the equally, I'm going to say, I can put the ending scene in Necromantic 2. It's a bit like some of the what you find in like a Terrifier movie, like Terrifier 2 would get that to this point. But it's Jesus. so the last line is just excellent. Our Keith hates them two films, you know. Yeah, he doesn't hate them at all. I tell you what, they're a hard watch. It's not something that I mean, I've got and bought them, had them on the shelf. I have never watched them since I bought them. And, you know, I mean, I've watched them before. I used to have the VHS of uh, Necromantic 2. I paid about 30 quid to get that. I was back in the day. You couldn't get that in the country as well. The slag got was one. And it was it was great. So I've watched two more than one. I think, actually, I have watched one on the Arrow video. It's got a really bad transfer, though. It's it's shot in a video recorder, camcorder. So, yeah. But the, the second one's not. It's shot as a movie. That's why I like it better. Plus, it's colour as well. Are they both uncut as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just wow. couldn't believe when they were going to put them out. I thought, how on earth? This is one of the first ones I thought, how on earth have they got these in this country? I just couldn't. It's because show it times have changed, doesn't it? It does. But I tell you what, the, when it was trying to, the person who was wanting to get rid of them was trying to go through, you know, like proper places like AB and all that type of thing. Wouldn't entertain it. Wouldn't even. The eBay just says get them off. Yeah, so they still they still got a bit of a stigma to win. Um, What's AB? I'm not saying that. You what? What's AB? AB. You said he was trying to put them on AB or something. Oh, eBay. Oh, you wanna, eBay. You want to clean, you clean your logs out? Get some of that, mate. I've seen them for sale on there. I'm sure. Maybe it's one of those things where sometimes they sell them, sometimes they don't. I think they might sell, actually, I think they might sell the standard versions of them. But these ones are the ones with all the extra stuff in it, the actual Polaroids in it. I think the Polaroids are the things that they don't want to have because these Polaroids are meant to look like real Polaroids. Oh, from no. taking Polaroids of what's happening, what they're doing. I think that's why it wow. gets a problem. So Skink Smith says, good evening both. Good evening, Skink Smith. Hello, Matty. Oh, we've got uh, and Jerry Jerry Cheer. Even guys, my DVD nasties include Traces of Death. Wow, box set. Not on the list, thank God. Your Grave Uncut. Men Behind the Sun, banned from TV, volume two. All right, I think I've heard that one, you know. But um, Traces of Death, that's awful, that. It's like... It's like 10 times worse than Faces of Death. Um, and Men Behind the Sun, there it comes up again. Yeah, out and of also, all of them, the only expert on your grave, actually, a video nasty. 
I know, but I think these are these are definite ones that would have been if they'd been these are ones Release. that were like we we got a hold of me and John Hall, but we had to go through means because and they were ones that this fellow got to us. But if we didn't import them, but if he got caught, I think he had a connection. So he wouldn't have got caught. But if that connection had got caught doing that, the customs, he would have been arrested or busted, as they call it. Used to call it it is like so, drugs, isn't it? Well, it was. It was as if you were doing something like really, really bad. You weren't really just watching a film. For God's sake, what's that going to do with anything? So we've got Mr. Friday Night in here. Scott, the movie critic. Oh, Scotty, my friend. How you diddling, mate? I the love Scott. Man. He is. He's, yeah. he's such a lovely bloke. I'll tell you what, though, that's um, when Carlos met up with him, you know, Carlos, and they had that thing. Did you see Scott's face? He was yeah. made up like, wasn't he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was brilliant. I really I was enjoyed good, that. I wish I, I, said, I, wish I could really be there. there. I'd love, I would have loved to have met him. That would have been a great day out, wouldn't it? Uh, getting with because I know Carlos has got a lot of time. Well, everyone's got a lot of time with Scott, but um, Carlos really is, is really tainting, hasn't he? And uh, Scott was in his element. That was great. It was a real good. Uh, it's like a sort of um, feel good factor. I felt. Well, so, if you ever fancy a road trip, yeah, I mean, I think I think we should have words about it. things, don't you? Yeah, it's got to it's got to happen. I mean, the fact is that we're we 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 meet up with sellers, but we don't meet up other people often with sellers. Yeah, we'll get we we'll get Sammy G in the go, of course. Um, but really, we can't really. How else can we stretch it out? You know, it's we're going to have to go further afield, aren't we? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, we'll have a thing. Country, maybe if we could do it. Yeah, or we'll have just a thing. do it in London. I don't know. Have a convention for us lot. Can you imagine it? It would be, be terrible, though, if we did. And when a convention, you all had your tables. And, like, everybody went to a certain table and nobody went to another one. You'd be sitting there sort of, you know, I wouldn't want I'd, that. I'd be sat my me own in a corner, so I'm not going to sit with Fatty over there, look. But I'll be hoarding round That's towards me. yours and Scott's. No, no, I'd have something over my face, me, because I'd be that embarrassed. <laughs> So what we've got, we've got, we've got eight minutes left. I'll go through some more comments. Like I say before this, really, really appreciate everybody coming. I've had a blast. 71 people. I mean, come on, it's just been it's been amazing. I think this has been the biggest stream we've done for the amount of people uh, looking at, watching at the same time. It's quite amazing, really, to think that this... It is. After, I mean, we've been doing this for about two years now, haven't we? Do you think two years? Getting on to that. That's about... Yeah, get on. I mean, yeah, coming up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's still plenty of stuff to talk about. And it's, oh, all, yeah. it's, all, it's not as if these movies are kind of done and dusted. They've all been released, and that's the end of that. They're all still ongoing. As we're yeah. doing these lists, there's more getting added all the time. So exactly. Yeah. Great, man. Have you ever heard any more about the release of GBH? Because I haven't. No, I, I see a thing that comes up all the time saying that someone's going to come around doing a bit of a talk about GBH, like a sort of go and see it as if they're going to talk about the movie, but I've never ever seen anything more about that movie at all. You can get on that, that on, thing on, that we saw. Know. It was actually a, a, a getting release, wasn't it? It was GBH. I'm sure it was Severin as well. Yeah. But then again, the same uh, thing happened uh, with um, I Miss You, Hugs and Kisses, didn't it? And we thought, I'll oh, give up on that. And then all of a sudden, bang, out it came, pre-order, just when you least expect it. Well, I like it. I like it when these movies come out, and ones that you think you would never see the light of day, and they just come out in a really nice version. And you think, wow, where has it been all this yeah. time? How have they managed to track it down? It always fascinates me that. Rock and Roll Hell says Ripper isn't a nasty. That's insane. Yeah, it's not. Is that New York um, Ripper? New York Ripper, yeah. No, it's uh, the, it, it it landed in the country and they basically like, turned it round and stuck the foot of its ass and went, you can get out and all. They just wouldn't entertain yeah. it. That's it. I mean, Cy Robson said it's not it's it's not nasty, but it it got stopped before they even sort of got into the releasing phase, didn't it? Yeah, but it would have definitely. I mean, even now, it's still cut now when it got released. 
unless you get the American one. I would class it as a, it should have been a nasty. Since John New York River got deported back to Italy, yes, that's exactly yep. what happened. Never even got through the census. That's it. <clears throat> but then again, I've seen worse films in the country these days. So oh, yeah. I don't think this would come out. Yeah. Maybe I think that, that scene with the razor blade. Yeah. Down top, yeah, down. That was wow. I look at that now and I'm like, oh. But yeah. I, I think that's, that, that's probably my favourite Fulci film, that New York River. I love it. Yeah. I like it, I do admit, but uh, can I go past zombie flesh eaters for me? As you I know. knew you'd say that. I know, but I've got to say how it is. Uh, Mad Marty's movie reviews. Marty, evening, Marty. Hello, mate. So we've got uh, one on one Bronson here. Even gentlemen, I trust you're doing yes, well. Yes, my That's friend. Doing, doing pretty good. That's for the one that you just the last night. 8 13. So uh, we're all behind. But I think we've done, as, yeah. we've done as best as we can. That's how I can say. And I want to thank everybody. Sorry I didn't get everyone's um, comments. I've tried my best. But he has to go and milk his ferox soon. Yeah. Well, um, John Rennie's Boneyard pictures. What do you reckon about Absurd 4K, lads? I thought it was okay, but not the best. Um, well, I haven't, I haven't seen it in 4K. Yeah. It's, I mean, the movie for me, I think it's, um, I do prefer Anthropophagus, even though Absurd is probably the better movie. But I just like the setting of Anthro better. If I oh, no. I like Absurd better. Have you both seen Shogun Assassin? Well, we talked about that. And, what have you been uh, through that one? And... John, as I haven't. Yeah, Shogun Assassin was from Vipro, Steve says, yeah. Yes, it was. So this is a great name for a channel. Look at this one. Snakey Pilskerson. Snakey Pilskerson. <laughs> Snakey Pils yeah. Choose the sword and you will join me. Choose the ball and you will join your mother in death. That's Shogun Assassin. That's brilliant. Yeah. Snakey I really Pilskerson. need to get that. It's great. The blood in it, man. That's that's true. What he does is he says to the kid at the start, because I think it's, it, the, it's not a spoiler, the mother dies. So he says to the kid, who's just a little toddler. I've, I've seen him in the trailer. All over there. Yeah, and there's a sword. Because he's tiny, he he's a kid. Yeah, yes. And he said, if you choose the sword, mind, if you choose the ball, you're dead. So he chooses the sword, so he takes him away with him in the court. Can you believe it, though? And I thought... This is a bit rough. And that's his dad who says that to him. Yeah. So basically, yeah, you either come and help me or I'll kill you. Well, he's got to choose the way of the sword because he's a shogun and that's what it's all about. It's all about this honour amongst shoguns and stuff like that and the, the whole, what they're called, when they, they become a shogun then they become someone else, uh, the ronin. It's all about that. It's it's really good, but it's really it's really weird how they've taken two movies and put them in. It, it doesn't make any sense because they've done that. The two separate ones, there's six of them, and they're all good. They look amazing on Criterion. So Minja Hull says, hey guys, hope you're well. You guys looking forward to the new Planet of the Apes, an alien film. We're actually lucky to get two installments from both series. We're we eating good. Ha ha. Um, now, I will say that I am looking forward to those two ones. I think my son will probably go with the pictures with us to watch the new Alien movie. I know that Nigel isn't a fan at all. What do you think of the Planet of the Apes? Are you a fan, Nigel? Are you just... No. Not a first... And he knows I'm not. I don't know what he's asked again for. Did you, do you like the old ones? The old Planet of the Apes? I only used to watch them when I was a kid. I don't remember a great deal about them, but I do remember Roddy McDowell being in them. Um, 
Yeah. Well, that's that. That's about it. I used to watch the telly series with my Nana when I was really yeah. little. It's great, but it doesn't finish because it got cancelled and it didn't actually finish. There's no end to it. God, so we watched I it, it and, went, and I went, oh, I can't wait to see what happens. And I went, it doesn't doesn't finish. Got to see episode 18 or something, it just stops. And I went and looked on the net and I said, oh, it got cancelled, so I never finished it off. I thought, brilliant. Next. So I saw, Steve says, I saw Trace of Death when I was a kid, never again. Yeah, I agree with that. I would never watch that again. I watched it a couple of times, twice, and that's, that's enough for me. I am so glad they're not on the list because I don't ever want to see them. No. The, um, it's just, I don't, there's little bits like um, there's, a, there's a head on, well, it's, it's a body, but there's a head on a... Um, Real? On a sort of, it, yeah, it's it's a body, and it's on a slab sort of thing. So, and you don't imagine, you don't even think this is going to happen. They just go up, and it's been split. It must be a scientific project thing. So they just go out like there, just go split wide open. You see right in the center. I was, oh, I don't want to. I didn't want to see that at all. We never knew what was coming for the next little thing, and you just thought, nah, I've. Uh, Couple of times I watched it and I just said, John, all I said, I'm not, uh, I'm not getting any more of these ones. That was me. I think we saw up the trace of death three. That was enough for me. I thought, right. Take a poor well, John's second one. by them as well because, like, it's, I'm surprised he watched them. Well, we used to, we used to, used to get the snow all I used to go to my house. We used to get uh, a pizza, put the pizza on, what eat with pizza, watching these things, and uh, no. we used to see no. them. Well, we're eating the pizza. We're eating a pizza and beans watching these things. Every every oh, Saturday we should do that for years. And I mean years, but four or five years, solid. So we got through some good trust cinema. But I think we went a bit too far, actually, because we're testing the bounds of reality at one point. <laughs> Next. So Black Chat says the Boy George story in Scholar was great. The actor Ralph Brown tells it. It was a. I was. A, he was a bar man at the time. Yes. You know Ralph Brown, don't you? He's the one who was in um, Wayne's World. When he, he talks a bit like that, like a Cockney, and he's got. I couldn't. I couldn't Wayne's get World? through Wayne's World. All right. We had to beat him to death with his own shoes. But he's the bloke who's telling the the, the, um, the boy George story. Dear God, honestly, the stories in here are just. I need Absolutely. to get that. Yeah, I do think you need to see it. It's uh, it's fantastic. So what I'm going to say is at this point, we've got the end of, we haven't got the end of the, um, the comments. It's still quite a few left, but I'll have to say thank you, everybody who's tuned in here. Thank you to Nige for turning up again. And we thank will- Thank you very much for having me back on. Love, love this. Doing... No, it's brilliant. And the next one we're going to do is going to be section two part Two or three, I don't know where. Two or three, whichever it is. I can't yeah. remember. So we'll get that done, and we'll go back to the normal format of like talking about them, like we used to do, you know, before yes. this. We'll finish off the section two whenever. I think that's probably going to be about another. It's about three or four episodes to do with every section, around about. I think there's less three. per section two because there's not as many films. That's true. You, three, might, get it, you might get away with three parts for section two. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. It's and section we'll three that's um, going to be loads. Yeah. Um, it, it is. So that'll go on for quite a while. So we'll do the section two. We'll do another 4K one. We'll do another questions only. Like this. And then we'll go back to section three. So Starts at, at yes. this point, I, I don't know about me what my uh, rotor is, but I'm hoping that we might get another one maybe the end of this month or the start of the, the upcoming month, which should be May. Can you believe it? May. I know. It's nuts, isn't it? Yeah. It's going over so quick. Scary. Right. And on that bombshell, I'll bid you adieu and say thanks once again for turning up. Thank you, Nigel. To you. It's been, it's been great to you and you and you. And you and you. And so thanks once again for joining. We'll see you next time. It's been great. and. Thanks once again.
All two of you. See you later. See you later. See you later. Toronto. Bye.